<laughs> this is your wake up call. Wake up. It's time to get up and do some art. This is Thursday, March 18th. And this is Mary at the Mary Atier. And let's do some art. I have been <laughs> straightening up again in here and are trying to and I have all these paper scraps and I'm going to I'm going to make a little journal actually I'm going to make a big little journal because I have a lot of it some of this is going to go in my Art Nouveau I don't know if that will or not but yeah we're going to do that right away let's get my channel up and going here do, 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 do. it usually takes folks a while to find me in the morning which is okay my early birds oh there are early birds out there hi Arlene good morning hi Nancy good morning early birds so I did this page yesterday and I decided, after looking at it, it has way too much green on it. And you know what goes good with green on St. Patrick's Day? Gold! <laughs> so I think I'm going to put some gold on here. Shall we do that right away? And then I'll hop into my scrap journal. And I think I'm going to put circles on there to represent gold coins. And I was sewing on this, wasn't I, yesterday? So maybe I will come back to it because I was sewing. I got my needle still in here. Maybe I'll come back to it because I want to work on that scrap. I want to work on this. I'm going to make a scrap art journal out of, well... I don't know if I'll put some of these things in there. I've been sorting, and I just take a book cover, and I throw stuff in here. I have these pages from Arlene from that she packed with, these calendar pages. And I think I'll just cut them up. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I cleaned. You should see my desk here. It's not exactly what you would call clean. But it's getting there. At least my floor. At least you can walk across my floor. <laughs> oh dear. And my litter bag out here. I call it my litter bag now because I use my trash bag as a as a table. Hi Jersey. Good morning, Jersey lady. And is Mrs. Gigi in here? Hi, Gigi. Good morning, ladies. Gigi, did you send me uh, a March Saturday one? I, uh, I've been saving off my phone files, but I, I went through, I, I never delete my emails, but I went through and I, I thought you and Tim both sent me one, but maybe that was from last time. I don't know. So, I've got these things that I'm going to put in. I'm going to start out with the base here. My trimmer is behind me. I'm going to trim these pages down a little. I'm going to make maybe a... How do I want this? I want a smaller one, so let's cut these in half. Will they fit in there? No. Nope. What is this? Everything's stacked. To, everything's stacked around my desk. So this is a good way to use up scrap paper 
And I know this is not a new thing. People do this all the time. And, you know, it's just, it's hard to throw stuff away. And I know I should. But if I can make something out of it, why, why throw it away? And I guess maybe I should fold this better. Why throw something away if you can make something out of it? I mean, I understand throwing out stuff. But I do think if you can make something out of it, you should. Besides, I'll think of Arlene when I look at this calendar. So I'm going to fold that in half and make another little mini journal. A smaller journal. Arlene says, Oh, Mary's using that paper that I crumbled up. I shouldn't have crumbled it up. <laughs> I love it crumbly. I love it crumbly. Good morning, Rhonda. Mary, I was mistaking regarding Arlene, so please disregard that again. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't even... I, I, I guess I missed it in the first place, uh, Rhonda, but whatever you said, I'll disregard on on whatever it was. <laughs> I did not go to town yesterday. I tell you, we've had about a week of rain here, which has been good for, it's going to be good for the, you know, March showers, bring April flowers. My brother said the irises are growing out there. I asked him if my tulips were coming up, and he says, I don't see any tulips, but I see irises. So maybe the irises that we transplanted last year will grow. That makes me happy, too. I knew something was coming up out in, the, in that pot where we put the tulips. I put the tulips where, because I wasn't sure my irises were going to come up. There, I'm going to make my journal about, about, what is this, about... Five and a half by eight. That's a good size for a little scrappy journal. And these are going to be the base pages. And this is just going to be a quickie little scrap journal. Maybe I'll take this out on the front porch. I've already got a JB5 front porch journal, but that's not going to last me long. We did that JB5 hop. Going today. Do, 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 do. Rhonda says, good morning again, Mary. You figured out how to link on your phone, but not your laptop. Well, your laptop, you should be able to open a new tab on your browser and go to the new tab and go to wherever you want to get the link and copy it and then come back to your tab where you're moderating if you look up on the on the uh on the browser on the window where you that you have open you should see a tab for the stream you're in, and then you should see another little tab up there. A little tab right here. And it should have like the Marriottier, and then there'll be another little tab over here, and it should have like a plus sign or some little symbol on it and you to indicate that that tab is empty. And so you click on that tab, you leave this one alone, you'll get out of your stream, I think, it, but you won't have to come, I mean, it'll still be there, you just, it won't be an active window, it'll be an inactive window, and you come over, and you click on that one, and you go to whoever you want to go to, and then you just copy their link up in the 
browser uh, list box up at the top and then you come back to the original tab and hit on that and that activates that window and then you should be in the chat stream but not seeing what you're seeing it's hard to it's hard to tell you and you were better than me because I turned everything off in here and my laptop still needs to have the I turned everything off I went and got some breakfast yesterday and then I went over and watched Dee Dee and then I took a nap. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was afternoon. Before I knew it, it was the afternoon. I did watch most of Dee Dee yesterday. She was harvesting magazines and calendars. She has a lot of interesting... <laughs> and I had a laugh because, you know, when you harvest a magazine, you grab what interests you and you toss what, you know, what's not calling to you. <laughs> and they were saying out there, Dee Dee, will you send us your scraps? <laughs> Dee Dee said something interesting yesterday. And I think Laura was in there when she said that. She said she loves she loves to draw. Dee Dee is a good artist, a wonderful artist, a very inspiring person. And I love to watch Dee Dee draw, and I know Laura does. But Dee Dee said that her videos where she does drawing is are the ones that do not get the most views. And I think it's because. You know, uh, a drawing is a process, and uh, when people come to watch videos, they they come to well, they if you're coming into the chat stream, they come to visit and, and all of that. And a lot of people, especially in Dee Dee's group, are not drawers. They aren't uh, people who would, and and most and the ones that are already know how to draw. I love to watch Dee Dee draw. But uh, it, 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 for any artist, I know even the, the artists out there who do realistic work. Um, there's one fellow out there who does, and the other, who does beautiful, beautiful work, realistic drawings. But even in his fast forward, you get a little tired of watching it because, you, you know, and especially with real, now with Dee Dee, Dee Dee's work is so inspiring and she makes it fun when she does those drawings um, but a realistic artist you know what it's going to be and you go go snap a photograph if you're going to make it realistic that's my, unless you're unless you're displaying your talent I guess all right let's have a sip of coffee and the other thing that Dee Dee said What was it she said? It, it caught my interest yesterday. Can't remember. Oh. Um, what was it? Well, I'll think of it. It was in my head and it went bye-bye real fast. All right. That's why I have to go off on rabbit trails. I have to say things when I think of them. Let's look at chat and welcome folks in here. Nancy's here. Let's see. Let's go down to the bottom. Arlene says, I love to watch people draw. Arlene said that. Who did I say? Arlene or Nancy? Arlene says, I love to watch people draw. Taking a blank page and using a pen to create art fascinates me. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh I do too. I love to watch people draw, but uh, I don't know for some reason or another. I think I agree with Dee Dee that the on the there on the drawing videos, they're the ones that are the less what they get the less views for some reason or another. Rhonda says I love it when somebody scribbles on a sheet of paper and then they make something of it. Yeah. Um, 
Barb Owen was doing that in her last stream. Pareidolia. Pareidolia art. Barb was taking scraps, uh, uh, photos of cracks in the sidewalk and turning them into something. Rhonda says, I can draw, but my imagination in zip is zip, and that is hard. Yeah. Well, in that case, Rhonda, instead of making a drawing, make a doodle. You know, if you're, if you see a, well, let's just say the crack in the sidewalk. If you can't think of what that looks like, maybe just doodle on it. I'll, I'll be working along on my art projects, and several times, those of you out there watching will say, "Oh, do you see a, do you see a face in that paint <laughs> blop that Mary has on her palette?" <laughs> And I won't be watching chat, so I'll be painting away and I'll I'll destroy whatever they saw. <laughs> you can draw anything you see. Well, there you go. That's cool, Rhonda. It's it's just, you know, and sometimes, yeah, you have to um that's the other one other thing Dee Dee said. Everybody has an imagination. Everybody has an imagination. Nobody, nobody is without imagination. She said, if you can find your parking spot <laughs> in a large, you know, if you go shopping and park out in the parking lot, and if you can find your car again, <laughs> because your head, your head records in there where your car is. Some people say, oh, we take a picture with her cell phone. <laughs> I had a laugh at that. Good coffee. I enjoyed Dee Dee's stream yesterday. She was just, she was just, uh, she said it was a chill day. She was just sitting there tearing, mag tearing up her magazines and talking about what she saw and why she saved what she saw. And then she was putting everything in folders, <laughs> which I need to get to yet. Hi, Kimberly. Good morning. Oh, is Juanita in here? Hi, Juanita. Yeah, you were in Dee Dee's stream yesterday. You told her that uh, Dee Dee was trying to remember the, like she was talking about the warp and the weave. And she said, now what is it on paper? And Juanita says, it's the green. It's the green. Kimberly is here. Who am I missing saying, good morning, Teresa. You guys are all up early. You're early birds. Look at you. Jersey's here. Rhonda's here. Teresa's here. Uh, Juanita's here, Nancy's here, Arlene, all you early birds, early in the morning, it's early in the morning, Rhonda's here, Gigi's here, do, 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 all right, I think I've, Welcome to everybody. If I missed you, it wasn't intentional. Jersey says she's glad to be up early. Yesterday, Cole and I accidentally slept late. Ten minutes late for virtual school. Oh, no. You slept through. <laughs> you were late for school. You were late for school. Uh-oh. You were tardy. They called that tardiness in our day, didn't they? I was never tardy for school because we took the school bus to school. Now, I was always having to make the school bus. So <laughs> I can remember running down the driveway to the... Sometimes... It would, he would be out there waiting and, you know, our, our driveway had to be at least a block long, you know, and he'd be there, beep, beep, and there he'd be, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have all these scraps from, or I, I call them scraps, they're just odds and ends. Let's put it this way. I called them scraps. Uh, they're, they're odds and ends from my cleaning off, my clearing off, and it's not even clear yet, you guys. It's still stacked up over there. But these are the things I saved out. 
so I'm just going to I'm just going to put some of this stuff some of these things like this can be I'm gonna get my ruler out what did I do with it did I put it back in here let's cut this in half we're just I'm just gonna make a a little and I'm gonna do it this morning that's from Barlene. Pray, pray, pray ab about your art journaling. And we're just going to start stacking this stuff up. And okay, we're just going to start doing it like so. I might keep that ruler handy here. As I go through here, and I got two of them here. All right, let's do it. I'm, and the little things, I'm going to come back and put in the little things. But right now, I just want to get the base. And this came from. This is going to go in my my uh, art journal. That came from uh, Tanya. I need to work on her bag. I need to get out the sewing machine. All right, little stuff. Now I saved her. I'll come back to that. I saved the magazine. See, I just saved a cucumber parade. Now, that probably would not appeal to Dee Dee at all, but so I find something interesting in a a cucumber parade. How am I going to put it over there for now? Some of this stuff isn't going to fit. Some of it will. And for some reason, I found this. I think, I don't know why I found that interesting, the little contents page. We're going to put it in there. We'll see how this goes. And I saved Becky's little pillow pieces. I got more little pieces than <laughs> now let's put this on the outside. It's nice and sturdy. And this is this is a a copy of my quick lube. <laughs> this is personal paraphernalia. I've been saving off personal ever watching uh, ever since watching Anne. I'm gonna make a folder. A personal paraphernalia. This is just a receipt from my car servicing. And this is a notice telling us, To all registered voters, please be advised that beginning with the elections for 2020 and all future elections, you will automatically be mailed a ballot from my office. You will no longer go to a polling place to vote. <sighs> Personal paraphernalia folder. That's what this is. And I think I have a... Let's let's get this. I think I have an empty bag here. Where's my empty bag? This is going to become my personal paraphernalia folder. Yeah, right. Like I'll remember that. I'll say, what is this? Let's put that card out there. Maybe that'll help me remember. Personal paraphernalia. I had some other stuff I was saving here, too. Here, this. Off of the crochet thread that I opened yesterday. Personal paraphernalia is just things that come into your paper. Things that come into your life. And I got a lot of paper in my life. You could probably even count things like these tags. These tags paper per paraphernalia. Here's a part of a of a Krylon pen. I'm going to put it in there. I've got a whole bunch of tags. I'm product tags. I'm saving for a tag journal. Now, let's put it here for now. I want to get this done. I'm making a... Here's an ace an ace sack. This could go in the personal paraphernalia, but I think I'll put it in here. Let's open this up if I can. 
I went to the hardware store and what did I buy um, recently? I can't remember. Oh, I bought that plastic. I bought plastic and, and a gold Krylon pen. We'll throw off the scraps down here. Just open it up flat. And I think it's sealed right down where I want to keep. Let's cut this part off. Although, this raggedy part might look fun in the journal, but I'm going to cut it off. It's too raggedy. Let's trim this. I've got a lot of personal paraphernalia around here. A lot of paper comes into my life. Yeah, my brother, my brother brought in the mail yesterday. He finally went and got the mail. And uh, he said, it's all junk mail. <laughs> he hands me a stack of junk mail. Oh, that's torn. That's torn or cut there. Let's put a piece of washi tape on there. I think I meant to cut something out of that. Let's see. Let's see if I can fool with this stuff this morning. This tissue tape gets old and gooey. Maybe that's from no. Oh, it's way up here. It almost becomes a part of the roll. Good luck getting it off. I've been fighting this row of tissue tape for a long time. Yeah, it's just comes off in bits, teeny little bits. Let's, and I usually fight it when I'm online. Here, this can be my gold coin, my mark making. What can I? I'm looking for a decent piece of washi tape here. And this isn't going to stay. I'll probably have to put, I'll probably have to put something on that to glue it down. But at least it'll hold it for now. I was cutting this ace bag. And we want to fold it maybe like so. Yeah. We're just going to make a scrap junk journal. Let's cut it here. And here. And let's put this one here and we'll stick this one over. Maybe in between these pages. See how that's growing? Oh, look how it's growing. Here's a an order form from that stamp. It's got a... It's an envelope. Let's cut it right here. Or tear it, maybe. Might be just as easy. And we'll fold this one in half. 
And this one, we're going to make a little pocket out of. <laughs> Where'd my scissors go? <laughs> oh, dear. What'd I do with them? They got buried someplace in here. I just used them a minute ago. Here they are. And we're going to cut a little angle in here. And that will go like that. And we're just going to tuck it in here someplace. Right in here, I think. Like so. It's growing. And this is just one. I've, I'll probably use this out on my front out on the front porch. It's going to get into the 50s today. It won't be long and I can go out there and start sitting on the front porch again. Now here is the so this is little stuff. Little stuff, little stuff. This might go in there this way. And we're down to the bottom which is Arlene, I think, sent me this. I'm going to put this in my other journal. Did Arlene send me this? Is this one you sent me, Arlene? I think it is. Or is that one I did? I know she sent me one. I don't know if that's one. It's going to go in my journal. My big journal. My March journal. This feels like, almost like crayon. I might have done this. Arlene says, I don't recognize it. Favorite makeup artist, yourself included. And I'm going to put favorite artist, yourself included. I've been saving that. And this is going to become a front, page, a front porch journal, I think. But what I want to get down to is this. Let's cut this in half. Huh. There's more here. It'll become my front porch journal. One of them. I like to sit out on the front porch when the weather gets nicer. It won't be long. It won't be long. Let's fold it this way. And this way. I like, I like these things because in your journal it just adds a page of interest. You can work on it, or you can leave it. I like to put th those things in my in-between pages. Now, I think I have all the base here of it, right here. Let's have a sip of coffee. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'll come out and chat in a moment. So this is going to go in my big journal. And I have all these little things. I'm debating this lady. I'm debating. I could fussy cut her out. And I love the, I love that. I might just put her in my big journal. She fits in my big journal. All right, then after I get this, After I get this all put together, I'll come back and put in the little things. These are the little things. And here I have a spot for ink pens. Paint brushes came in this. And I could almost put this on the cover. I could almost use it as a cover and drop my ink pens in there. Such as... Well, what I wanted on the outside, though, I would want it folded the other way. And it's already bent this way. It's already got the natural bend in it here. So I, of course, want it to go the other way. So that the little 
sprockets are on yet, but I think it will make a nice spine. Such as that, and then I could put my ink pens in it like this. I like that. So let's go ahead and then I'll come back to all of this. Let's, let's work with this. So, these are the base papers yet. So let's just put them in like this. And maybe in here we'll put this postage one. that and let's fold oh I got the little envelope in there too let's pull that up a little do 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 I had all those clips out. I found a package of clips that I've been hoarding. And they're over here someplace. I need to I need to clean more. I need to clean more. I'm gonna clip this here. And as I go, I'll add. Alright, so I'm back to another base base. Is that it? That must be it. I wanted to put this little sheet in here too. I know this is mine. This is from my explorations yesterday. My dripping. So like that. Calendar. I thought I had more. I guess I didn't. I thought I had more big sheets. Alrighty. I guess that's enough, really. <laughs> there. That'll make me a nice front porch journal. And then I want this as the cover. And let's just put this here to hold it for a minute. I want this as the cover, and it's been folded. The I want it folded the opposite way. It's got some scraps in there, I guess. No, it's paint. It's been folded the other way. It's been trained to fold the other way. We're going to retrain it. This was holding paint brushes, I believe. And I'm going to put this on the outside, right here. Yeah, I'm kind of liking that. Now, I guess I have enough. And you see, I've got a lot of white space in here to write on. I like to write and draw out there on the front porch. So, where am I going to put my clip? I'm going to have to put it on the bottom here or on the, to keep the, the paper, the, although that has, um, this has more of a pocket on the back. 
these have these have torn loose but I can still click my and I can put stuff in there too all right we like that Alrighty. so I'm done with my ruler I think and my big needle yesterday my big needle flew off of my desk I was working with it and it flew off all right now I need some yeah, I'm going to bind it today, too. I need my thread. Oh. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. This thread was all underneath of the pile there. And the pile... The pile is dangerous over here. <laughs> Do you guys have a dangerous pile of paper? It's all my projects that I'm working on. I got project bags and fussy cuts and now I was gonna put some things, some fabric stuff in there too. That's what I was gonna do. What did I do with it? Here, let's see. What did is it over here yet? Here, I wanted to work some of these fabrics in there. We're going to work some of these. Well, not the lace. We're going to work some of those in there just to have it. And I got other scrap fabric. All right. Hold on. Let's revisit this. I want to get my all out. And is that it? I, I have some seam binding here. I thought would make a nice tie. We'll come back to that at the end. But let's come out and chat before I get started with the binding. Let's come out and chat. I'll leave this here as a pretty. All right, let's chat. Let's catch up with what you guys are doing. Oops, I turned, up, I turned it off. Oh. Christine, good morning. Christina, good morning, good morning. Christina Shack says hello, everyone. Kimberly's here. Is Marjorie in here? Marjorie, I've been seeing your comments. She says, good morning, Mary. <laughs> good morning, Marjorie. Thanks for popping in. We're glad to have you join us. Mmm. I'm glad I made that coffee this morning. It's hitting the spot. Kimberly says, I threw one out the other day. I was cussing and life's too short. <laughs> what did you throw out, Kimberly? What did you throw out? Jersey says, oh, Lizzie. Oh, is Lizzie in here? Good morning, Lizzie. Lizzie, I'm so glad it finally got there. Oh. Darlene must have sent Lizzie a box. She sent me a box. It was intended to be sent a long ago. Oh, that was Jersey who said that. Sorry. Um, and it was being buried in my room. I have that syndrome. Stuff I want to send, it's buried in my room. <laughs> it's my excuse. And I'm sticking to it. Oh, dear. Lizzie, good morning, Lizzie. She says, Laura, I received your quilt square. Thank you so much. It is beautiful. And also the extra square. The extra square is going to make a beautiful additions to the other squares. I love it. Aww. Um, Lizzie does a lot of slow stitching and quilting. Uh, is it crazy quilts that you're making, Lizzie? And, and, but she does a lot of that. Beautiful, beautiful work, Lizzie. I don't get out and watch you guys as much as I want to, but I kind of know what you're working on. Sort of. Kimberly says, good morning, Lizzie. Rhonda says, Lizzie, how is Anne doing? My heart breaks for her. Oh. Let's see. Jersey says, well, he might stay home the rest of the year anyway. Must be talking about Cole. She gets her shot and... She and to, oh, she's talking about her mother getting her vaccine. B 
do 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 Rhonda says ours is opening up next week although in Michigan cases have gone up I personally think it's silly just have virtual sales for the kids but I'm not in charge I'm not sure what that's all about oh the school Rhonda his school has been hybrid for a while but he has stayed virtual until Romeo gets his shots Romeo got his first one yesterday yeah that I'll tell you that hidden virus thing it has really changed our lives hasn't it but you know, we take the the bad with the good, and you kind of have to take the bad and make good out of it. See the good in it. The good in it is, I think it's taught our society to slow down. And it has certainly taught us to be at home more. Uh, and uh, and the good, another good thing is more people are working virtually. Um, Pre-COVID, to try to get... Uh, an employer to even think to even halfway think about letting people work at home was that employer would be a very forward thinking person um it was just almost expected that people would go into work especially office i'm talking about office people um but now now all of a sudden we figured out ways where people can work at home and I think, in a way, that's a good thing. Uh, there are some, some times when you don't want to work at home or you need to be in the office or you just want to be around people. Sometimes working as a team. And, of course, our technology has improved, too, with all the virtual meetings and everything. But I was the type of person that I would have loved to work at home. And I was in programming, so that... that would have worked for the coding part um you still have to meet people and meet your users and you know meet your team and all of that but um back in my day even programmers you would have to be a very high level programmer before they even considered you working at home unless you were on the <laughs> the repair team the, the support team Support teams were almost expected to have some sort of a, a virtual connection in case the system went down at 3 o'clock in the morning. And it did at times. Some interesting stories from there, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, Cole wishes he rode a school bus. We live one mile from school so I drive him well when it isn't virtual yeah we used when I was a kid we lived three miles out so we took the school bus I can still I can still remember the school bus route we had the north route of course we were a small school we had the north route and we had the south route and when I was younger my parents lived south of town and when I was a little older we lived north of town so I got the advantage of both routes but I can close my eyes and still go those school bus routes <laughs> and know who we dropped off here and uh, here 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 and then we'd go back it was a small school larger schools they have <laughs> a lineup of school buses but I don't know um uh, our society, our culture's been changed in the last year. And some of it's not good. I mean, uh, we can't go shopping. I have to have an appointment yet to go to the library, I think. And that's been, that's been holding me off for a couple days here. Because I'm going, I don't want to have to call and make an appointment to have to go into the library. The big library. Now, our smaller town library... Um, but it doesn't have the the big format printer that I want to use. Um, we don't even have to wear a mask in our smaller town library. It's pretty open. Um, you you can. They they make it optional. But we, you have to understand we're in a small environment. We do have cases here, and uh, 
you know, they, they in February, what was it, December through February, they made a an ordinance that the public, if you went into a public building, you needed to wear a mask. And I stayed home a lot. I, I had to go. I have to go shopping every now and then. I can't just, you can't stay home all your life. All right. What else is going on out here? Uh, Jersey said she's not that good at finding her car. <laughs> Talking about having an imagination. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people that were thinking that in Dee Dee's dream. Where's my car? <laughs> I have no imagination. My car is lost. <laughs> oh, I always look at the roll number. I always look at the roll number. That's how I, that's what they put them there for. I generally find my car. And I generally end up parking beside the, there's always, if you're going to find a parking spot in a big parking lot that's packed, always look for the, the one that's close to the, the uh, carts, the little cart things. Because nobody likes to park there because there's the risk of getting your car banged up with shopping carts. I generally find one close to the, sh to the shopping cart aisle, unless it's really packed. But I'm the type of person that I don't mind walking. I don't mind walking. My brother tries to find the very closest one. And even with his big, he's got a big Explorer, a Ford Explorer. It's a pretty large car. It's a van, but it's a large van. Mine, mine is a minivan. <laughs> mine still has space, but my, my uh, van is a little bit smaller than his. But he'll get right up there. And, you know, he squeezes that van in there, and I'm just sitting there. Why don't you just park down a field? We can walk it. I don't like to walk. <laughs> you know, so. I I generally, generally, I don't mind walking. I don't, you, you know, but then I don't buy a lot of stuff. But if you buy a lot of stuff, you have the shopping cart. All right, yak, 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 Mary. What else is going in here? Teresa says she likes to draw. Trish where Teresa came in and said good morning. All right, let's go down to the bottom. Press that blue arrow and come down. Oh, and by the way, I noticed Aunt, uh, Becky put a posted a post out on her community tab. She's going to take a break from electronics this week and get some stuff done in her yard. It's warmer in South Carolina than it is here. Although it's supposed to get up to 50 today. All right. Oh, I must be because I'm down to the bottom here. Let's let's refresh my Sometimes my my chat gets stuck. I don't know why. Do 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 do. do. Oh, yeah, we got a skirt survey. On my, I don't know what that was. On my thumbnail, I have a little round circle that says design a, a peaceful place. Huh. I don't know if that was part of my thumbnail or if that was just... That's interesting. All right. Jersey says, I wish I could get outside again. It's too chilly here. Good for Becky. Yeah, it's a little chilly here yet in Nebraska. It'll warm up soon. It'll be so hot. We'll be turning on the air conditioner, turning on the fans. Temp right now is 42. And high is supposed to be 46. It could be colder. Yes, it could. Do, 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 do. Arlene says, we hunt for the cart returns to park next to. There's extra space for my wheelchair that way. And there's rarely a handicap space for me. Yeah, those handicap spaces get filled up pretty quick, don't they? Jersey says, luckily my car beeps when I unlock it. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Oh, let's see. Jersey says their library is still closed. I so miss going to the library. Yeah, our our little library is open 
uh, our little our small county library is open, but our our the the one that has where I want to do the printing, and it still has it has a large format printer, but you have to make an appointment. It's closed, and you make an appointment if you want something, and they'll run the book. They have what they call lockers. I I've, I've never used them. I just read about them in the paper. But now. If I wanted to get this printed, I have to call and set up an appointment to take it in and get this stuff copied. I think I'm going to wait a week. They're talking about opening it up the 22nd of March. So we'll see. They they watch the, the numbers. And their numbers have been stable. They go up and down. They go up and down. And the least little tick up, they panic. <laughs> but I think those numbers are all based on tests. You know, they, well, of course they do, it does, because they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know if the numbers went up or down unless they tested. So I'm going, well, what about the people you don't test? The, you know, they don't, they don't, well, Mary's just yakking. I'll just hush up. There, I'll, I'll use that as the cover. And I'll still have this little thing here. I wanted to work these. I don't know about these two, though. I I would like to have these in there. But maybe in another one. They're kind of... I, I think I'll just use that as a cover and save these for something else. Alrighty. So, all I have to do is that and now i need to poke holes in here and get this going so i got my all out and i don't mind if this is and i think i wonder if i bind this instead of binding it with i wonder if i can bind this with oh wow this is hard even oh i'm going through that plastic no i, I I'll have to bind it with thread. I was thinking that I could bind it with my ribbon. But I'm going through this plastic and I don't think that ribbon will go through there very well. And let's just poke the hole. I'm just going to do a simple three-hole three uh, pamphlet stitch. And let's just set this here for a minute. And let's get out some thread. I'm going to have to get me some more black thread, I think. I've been using this up. Yeah, you're going to watch me do this this morning. I sure have been... <laughs> I've been doing the boring stuff this week. One, two, three. Oops. Oh. I sent you guys for a ride. <laughs> Four. Five. Six. I don't know if I'll... I might hit that. I got a tear there. Seven. Now let's put it in my lap. Which falls down on the floor. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. All right, we'll stop there at twelve. And then I double it. Let's put it up here. No, let's not. It's going to get mixed up. But luckily, I just have the three holes to go through this morning. So this should go, unless I get in a, hit a snag, it should go pretty fast. And that's all going to be tassel. That's why I do this. 
it becomes a tassel. I do the crazy, the crazy binding here. I was watching the replay of Rosemary. She's been selling her stuff in her stream. And I don't always get out to her stream and it's all sold by the time I get there. Rosemary. She's asleep. All right. So we're going to go. I left my all in here. I'm going to try to poke these holes as I, as I bind this time because of that big thick fabric. All right, Penelope, I'm going to use you as a as a holder for my stuff. And we're just going to hopefully carefully pull this through. I need another clip here. I need another clip. I don't know what I did with that other clip here. It's just oh, it's holding my waste basket. Well, I'll just be careful. <laughs> Mary, be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need the scissors. Uh, I need the all. I don't need the ink pen. I need my coffee. I have Becky's stamp here. Alrighty. I don't want this to loop up too much for me. And this is the top here. The, the clip is at the bottom. That's how I'll remember the top and the bottom. Alright, so I want to hold on to that loop. And I'm going to punch another hole. And luckily I don't have to go through the... Luckily I don't have to go through that plastic up here at the top. That was smart. Right there. And we're going to do two. And right here. Now I have to come through the bottom one with my needle. Through the bottom one. And Penelope, I need you again. Over here. To hold on to my needle. And let's see if I can do this. This is where it generally gets tangled up because I put the thread the top threads are my last and my first are on the bottom and that's what that's how it gets tangled. But if you go slow See, it catches every little piece of whatever on there. Little Whatever it can find, it holds on to. That's why I try to clear my desk off as much as possible when I'm doing this. This thread is a magnet for scraps. And it says, oh, did you want me to hold on to that for you? No, but I see you are. Hmm. Oh, it's holding on to the corner up here. I'll grab on. <laughs> I'll grab on to it for you. Actually, it's going pretty good. Hopefully, it will be a fast mind this morning. So, comes through this way. Now, I don't want to pull it clear through. I need to hold on to that loop because my needle here needs to go through this loop. Mm 
And we're just gonna pull it through. Try to keep my threads going across my desk here instead of letting it pile up in a pile. There we go, pull it tight, and there we go, looking good. Now, let's put it through the top hole, that went good, and Penelope, I need you over here now. She holds on to the needle while I'm, she's my fourth hand, second, third, and <laughs> third and fourth hands. All right. Did I do that how I wanted? Oh, I might have a double, double trouble here. I didn't want to go up through there. I wanted to come, where did I want to go here? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter on a junk journal. You make a goof. It's all going to be covered up up here anyway. And see, I'm, I'm going to pull it down. I'll have a double thread here. I wanted to come here and come down to the bottom and then go up. But I didn't do that. So I'll have a double, I'll have a double thread here. But it's, it'll be covered up by my tassel anyway. I'll have a double thread over here, too. It'll be all right, unless I skip that one and come down here. I can loop around. But let's, let's put all this thread over here. my needle and I think instead of going back through this hole I'm just going to loop it around here and let it let it hold on to it I need another clip and let's take my now I have to open that up I can't do that I'm just going to pull this this way. Hopefully I won't get it tangled. This is not the correct way to bind it. This is Mary getting out of her goop because I don't want to unthread it. And it's just a junk journal. That's all it is. Oops. See, if you pull too fast, you can knot it up. It, the more you pull thread like this, you, you tw the thread will twist. It has a natural twist to it. Now, oops, I went around, but that isn't what I wanted. I wanted it to tie. Oh, I did that wrong. Well, didn't do it wrong. It just didn't. It didn't tie for me. I should have tied it. Let's bring it back down here. Make a tie. And loop through there. That'll make it a tie. Hold on to that for me. And we're going to pull again. Uh, hold on to my book with my elbow. I want the tie down there. This is not the correct way to do it. This is the oopsie way to do it. 
But like I said, it's a junk journal. And just so it gets bound, that's all I care about. And I have to watch this. Do, 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 do. It's sliding up on me. Get back down there where you belong. And before I tie it tight, I need to be sure that my inner threads are that this is tight. And it is. I just have to make sure before I tighten my knot, which is sliding up again. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Now, I want to make sure, and it's tight, it's pretty tight. What happened here? Did I not get something bound? I missed the page. How did that happen? I'll have to use that as clodge fodder. All right, now I want to go back through this, and this is going back through that plastic, so it'll be a little harder to thread. What did I do with my awl? <sighs> So we're going to go through the plastic here. <laughs> Once it gets in there, though, it's in there. So now I want my needle. And I'm still... I'm still good here. I'm not knotted up. Thank goodness. I want my needle to come in here. And is it going to go in there? Yes. Yes. And I think instead of going in here and out again, I'm going to do another knot type thing here. So I don't have to go in and out these holes so many times with that fabric. I'm almost done with the hard part. Yay! And I think Arlene sent me this fabric. I think Arlene sent me the fabric. Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, it's just getting twisted here. This is how the thread, it gets one, one, it gets twisted. You just have to be, work with it as you go and be careful. There we go. And one thing I like to do, one thing I like to do is just take my thread and run it through my fingers and that will help straighten out the twist. And any, the length of the threads will straighten out too if one's longer than the other. It's not too bad on this. Do, 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 do. How many times have you guys watched me do this? It must be boring. All right. So I got my twist there, but I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a little knot here. I don't like making knots, but. Oh, yeah. See, it catches this. Want me to hold on to this one for you, Mary? No, not really. Don't, 
not up for me. And then I'll come through this loop that I've been holding on to. And I'm just going to make a center knot in there so that it's tight. It doesn't slip. Like that. It tends to want to... Uh, come on. I don't want to knot it yet. Hold on. I need to pull this tight. There we go. That's good. Now, I'll go through this. This is not how I generally bind. I made a goof. I, I went through the wrong parts up here first. But that's okay. It's not supposed to be a tutorial. It's me binding my journal. All right. Let's pull this through. Oh, it's holding on to pins over here. It's holding on to my awl. Do you want me to hold on to that for you, Mary? No. I didn't. No, nope, holding on to my dresser. There we go. Now, the castle making here. Let's, Penelope, I'm done here. Now, I can take off my clip and put it back on my pencil case. There we go. It holds my little pencil case to my product, my project card. All right, now I'm going to make my tassel. So, I generally come a few inches down. And, whoops, did I do that wrong? I want to make the tassel. Yeah, no, it's right. Tassel's at the top. So I need my book to be this way. And this got bound in crooked. The plastic got bound in crooked. No, it's just crooked. It's okay. It's a little wobbly in there. It's all right. It'll be okay. It just has one well that should be holding it it's all right all right Mary's okay so I make a loop come up to the top go under my little stitch up there and through these two threads and that will make a top knot a hold of my needle I unthreaded it. I don't need that big of a loop. I unthreaded it. That wasn't right. Here, I, I took my needle out of the thread. Let's straighten this up. While we're here, let's just do this. <sighs> Holding on to stuff. I'm almost done with the boring stuff. But I will have a little journal when I'm done. A front porch journal. I think I'll use this for the front porch.
How many front porch journals do you have now, Mary? Two. <laughs> I have that JB5 one and I have this one. All right, now. Tassel making here. So come down this way, a few inches down, loop it up. Come under the little stitch and through the threads like this. And it's not cooperating with me this morning. Penelope, hold on to that for me. Well, well, yeah, that's good. But not this. No, that's not good. She's she's holding on to it all right. I didn't get under, did I get under the little, I didn't get under the little stitch there. Well, this is not what I wanted. Let's unthread it. It's not off to a good start. I didn't get under my little stitch the way I needed to. Hold the phone. Mary's working with it here. What? <laughs> I'm laughing at, laughing at it. Where did it go? It didn't get under my little stitch. I'll have to do this again. Generally, I do this pretty easy. It's not cooperating. I'll get it done. It's not going to get the best of me. Pulled it out on my needle again. Luckily, this has a big eye. Luckily, it has a big eye. <laughs> All right, where's my little stitch? It's right in. Well, oh, I didn't make a little stitch, did I? That's why it slipped down. Well, it's not going to work. I'm going to need that little stitch. I'm going to have to make a little stitch in there. I need a little stitch for it to catch on to. I have the holes, but because I bound it wrong, I don't have the... I brought this thread clear down and I lost my little stitch. Well, maybe if I go under that. All right. One more time. I see what happened. I should have taken it out at the beginning, but I didn't. I said, we'll compensate for it. Now I have to compensate over here too. And look, my thread got uneven again. How did that happen? I didn't do any stitching. Mary's talking to herself while she does this. I hope you guys don't mind. You're just seeing the real deal here. I got a, I've got a stitch down in, where is it? No, I'm going to have to make another, no, down in here. My little stitch usually is in there, but I'm going to have to bring it, I'm going to have to bring it this way. Oops, I need a loop. Yeah. 
I need a loop. Ah, come on. I need a loop. I didn't make a loop. This has to be a loop. Like that. All right, one more time, Mary. I don't mind. I don't mind making goofs in my streams anymore. It used to bother me when something like this had happened. Mary doesn't know what in the world she's doing. But now it's just, yeah, it's how it happens. I tried to compensate for my mistake up here. And as I did, I, I ruined my, I ruined my, the way, my technique up here. All right, there is my loop. Hold on to that. And pull it through this way. Let's see if this will work. I needed a knot. Once I get one knot up here, I'll be fine. I need it to come through, though. Yeah, I think I will knot it just to be safe. Tie a shoelace knot up here. Just to be safe. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now I'm off and running. <sighs> Alrighty. So, loop two. That was an awful big loop. This one's going to be smaller. And then come under here. I think I'll save it. I'm hoping. Loop three. Now we're off and running. It gets easier when the thread gets shorter, but it still can twist and hang on to things. And when it hangs on to stuff, it pulls one thread and not the other. And so you tend to get uneven threads here. Let's straighten them out. But I'm liking it so far. Let's straighten this out again. That's pretty good. All right. Another loop. We will have a tassel. 
I will have a tassel. That's all there is to it. Yeah. What did I do here? Twisted this all up. Hold it while I straighten this mess up here. Uh, somehow it got twisted the wrong way. Now, I'm not sure what I did there, so I'm going to tie it. I'm going to tie it. And I don't care how many knots it has up here because I'm going to knot it anyway. I'm going to make a top knot. Another loop. And through. And in between. Well, it's not. Oh, it pulled all the way down. I don't have that set right. Somehow, I I missed my I missed my calling up here with the second. I thought I had it in that second. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to compensate with this. I don't want my tassel to fall all the way down my spine. I missed it here. I have to compensate, I think. And I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to try it. it up. Don't mess it up, Mary. And now we have to come out again. It's still going down. It's going down the It wants to, this wants to pull down. I messed it up. I had it. I was sure I had it. This is not the way I normally do it. I got an extra little loop in there. That, is that this one? No. Well, we're going to leave it. I'll work it in. Let's see if I can't make this thing work. And of course, I don't want it to go through all of those threads. Just this one. <laughs> Just that one. Can I make it go through that one? I don't think it will. Will. I will pull it. This is not the way I normally do this. I... I got off to a bad start, and I thought I was okay, and I wasn't. Now, let's see if I can't 
take care of this extra loop in here. This is Mary trying to get her tassel to hold still up at the top. By golly, I'm going to do it. By hook or crook, I'm going to do it. This is not normally what I do. So just ignore all this. This is me finding my way through it. Let's see what I have here. I still have that loop. I can, I can, I can take care of that. But is it going to slide down? I don't think it's going to pull down now. Now I just have this to take care of. And how do I want to do that? Threaded my needle. Do, 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 do. Just sing a song. Be happy. You got a junk journal. It's going to be good. Be happy. I got a little loopy up here that I'm trying to stitch down on top of everything. I don't want it sticking out. I think I did it. No, it's still... We will wrap it around a couple times. How's that? And then I'll go through under, under, under. This is me compensating for my mistake. That's good to make mistakes. That's how you learn. All right, I think I compensated. Now I got a few more loops I want to put on here. It's good to make mistakes. I'm not so good it's so sure it's good for everybody to see your mistake, but if you see me get out of it, I guess that's a good thing. One more loop. No. I'm going to have enough room for one more loop. I think I will. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now... 
Let's just take this and wrap it around again. Generally, I unthread my needle at this point because my needle just flies around and around. Wrap it around. Wrap it around. And with black thread, you can do this because it all blends in. White thread, it's a little more... You have to be a little more conscious about being neater about it, but Mary's never conscious of being neater. Alrighty. Now I just need to tie a knot and end it off and cut off the ends. I think I'm happy. So, I'm going to come down. Let's tie a knot up here. There. Let's tie another one. Let's go through the threads. And then I come through my loop. And through that center of the loop up there this mess of knots if I can come on get in there and out through the bottom or the back and then this becomes a tassel Whew. that was a lot of work that was harder than what I usually do all right now all I have to do is cut my threads let's get a scissors little scrappy journal. Let's cut it right here. If I can. Right there. And I generally cut this. I'm trying to do a nice little straight cut. And it doesn't Cut it this way. Hold on to it this way. There we go. And then I have that left. Here's my journal. I'm happy with it. It needs a, a closure. And for now, I'm just going to put a, a hair band on it. This will be a front porch. To, ooh, that's not going to work. And it's not going to work this way. Will it? No. So, we're going to have to find a different closure. How about... How about one of those silk ties? How about one of those silk ties threaded through here? Alright, let's just set that over there and deal with this. I hope you guys don't mind me mumbling to myself. I generally take these threads and make another little mini tassel. They're different lengths this time. Generally, they're about the same length. But I thread them out this way. I'm going to keep the shorter ones out, I think. This way. Do, 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 do. And I don't know if these are long enough to, and you have to be careful here too, because doing it this way, these threads will pull out if you don't stitch them in. Tie it that way. Give it another tie. Put this under. 
and I don't think that's long enough. I'm going to throw those away and get me a thread. Where'd my needle fly off to? Did I give it back to Penelope? Oh, my thread's on the floor. I'm going to have to get me some more thread. Oh, we don't need a whole lot. I'm going to get, get me another bag and make it from my crochet thread hanging up on close to my desk here. I've got it all on that cart. Actually, it's lined up so nothing falls down the back of the cart there. Alrighty. I'm just going to stitch this on. Sort of. Sort of. Mary Lake makes a lot of knots. That's one thing I'm good at is making knots. There we go. Now let's just do a wrappy thing. And like I said, with the black thread, it tends to all... blend in so any unevenness of the threads and everything doesn't show that much unless you've got really good eyesight that's pretty good now let's make a loop. Actually, I think I'm gonna, let's cut it first. Let's cut it into a little tassel. Well, I'll put a tassel on my tassel and I will throw this stuff away here. I could save it and paste it on paper or something. I'm gonna put a tassel on my tassel. Double tassels. Tassel trouble. Let's open up the book. Let's sew it up here. And let's let's just actually knot it. Make a knot. There we go. That's pretty good. It's all black, so it'll it'll just blend in. kind of like that. A tassel on my tassel. All right, just a couple more knots and I'll be done. Can I? No, I'm done. <laughs> well, my needle comes unthreaded. I'm done. We're just going to snip this. I got duct tape on these scissors. Actually, 
actually, I want that to thread through. I don't want it hanging out. Let's just thread it through. Come on. And it hang out the bottom. I'm about to link to this. All righty. But I'm not quite done because I want a closure. A tassel on my tassel. Put a little bead or something up there. All right. Hold on. This definitely needs a closure because of this plastic pieces. All righty. Penelope, hold on to that for me, Kim, would you? Thank you. She says, I'm trying, Mary. I'm trying my best. I want to get a silk tie. What I did with my, or a fabric tie of some sort over here. Find my silk ties. What one do I want to use? These are my silk ties. I'll come out and chat in a bit here. I'm almost done with this. I want a closure on this. That one's not going to be long enough. That one's not going to be long enough. That one's not going to be long enough. That one's getting there. Oh, I need a long one. Did I chop them all down? I might have to sew one. To oh, this one's long enough. <laughs> all right. But I might keep a, a gold piece out here. I like my gold. All righty. These are left over from my master board stuff. So what I want to do, I don't want to use the entire width of this. Well, I could. I could. Let's just thread it through here. See how it works. I might have to tie it in a knot in the center. And I, I don't know how to tie a men's tie knot. That would look nice, but it might be too bulky for this anyway. Get in there. Thread it through. And it's got a front and a back. It's got the seams on the back. Those inner seams. Yeah, I'm going to have to tie it here. Let's make it even. That's pretty even. And we're just going to... Let's see, I want to put this one through the bottom one, I think. Come on, get in there. We're still keeping it pretty even. A little bit more. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I want to make a... I want to make a knot here. And this is where it's been seamed together, right there. Right there on the front. Oh well. And then it'll come this way and this way. And of course the seam shows. <laughs> and then it'll tie over here. Yes. Yes. We'll just tie it shut. It's just going to be a front porch journal. And we could make a little bow if we wanted to. But now... I want to take oh, that threads gonna be out of place all right now I want to I want to do some gold so I want to see what will happen here I'm gonna play with the gold piece and 
Mary, Mary, Mary. Let's put my cutting board out. And let's go this way. And get my my ruler. Uh oh. What did I do with my ruler? Did I put that in, put it back? That's not the long one. Did I put it up here? My rulers tend, I need to find a good place for my rulers too. They tend to slip away on me. They tend to slip away. What did I do with that ruler? Well, I guess I'll use the one I have out. We'll just do it in strips. And see here again is where it's been seamed on the back. It's been seamed on the back there and there. Let's cut it. Trim the little edges off. And the length of that seam, the width of the seam is about, I just want to make a little strip here. And I'm going to play with my... And I saw where Allie K said, turn your ruler this way so you won't have a gap. I saw that. I'm not sure that I actually, I'm done with my awl. Put it away. And by golly, I'm going to, I'm going to try my rotary cutter again. The gal said, Mary, be careful with that blade. Cut away from you. Use your ruler. Cork side up. Don't kill yourself. That all worked. I listened. I listened to my best advisors out there. Oops, that didn't work. Did I have not have it open enough? Oh. My ruler's moving on me. That will sneak that off. Can't see what I'm doing way up there. Alrighty. I'm liking that. Maybe one more. I don't know if I can cut double thicknesses of this. I'm having enough trouble cutting one thickness. I think I like it better this way, though, to tell you the truth. it I like that little gap in there. It kind of forms a, a ridge for my blade. Well, I'm close to that blade. Oh. For some reason, it's not wanting to cut this silk tie too good. Could be the silk. For you experienced folks are probably cringing. But Mary has to learn. There we go. We're just going to cut two. I'm going to save this for something else. I love the gold. Alrighty. What did I do with that other ruler? It'll show up here in a minute. Any minute. And as long as this blade is the handle's down. If I put the handle up, the blade comes out. If I let it go down, it goes in. So I'm protected. 
but I'll still be careful. All right, and we're going to finish off my journal here with some gold. I gotta have gold. And how am I gonna do it? I got a double tassel. I don't like that one little thread. He's a mess. I'm going to do gold. Somehow, I'm going to do gold. That one got tied into the, <laughs> is that the bot, how is that, how did I do that? I did something wrong there. It got wrapped around the, the tie. I did something wrong here. It was good until I put this tie in. What did I do? Mary's, Mary has to play. I see, I loosened it all up when I put this tie in here. I jerked around, jerked that thread around. Let's see if I can undo it. Gosh, this is tied to. Come on. I jerked it loose, I think. I pulled on it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like it there. I had to keep the tassel out of the way. All right, now let's retie this. I like that better anyway. And while I have this out, let's see if I can put a... Actually... <laughs> Do I want it that way? No, I don't. Let's... I'm, I'm figuring out what I want, how I want to handle this. I want some gold in there. But I think I'd rather have it up at the top here. And it'll slide down unless I tie it up. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a junk journal. It's a junk journal, so it can be junky. What do you think junk journals are anyway, Mary? Oh, look, it tore right where that seam was. I got one hanging there and it's tight how am I going to get it uh, thread it that way there and it broke at the seam well, it broke someplace in there. I don't know if it was at this. Yeah, it broke at one of the seams. I think this has two seams. It has a seam here and a seam there. That worked. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Coffee on my back of my master board. That's okay. So... But this should still be good. This should still be good. And this should still be good. No, no. Little washi tapes. This one's good. See, this, this is seamed. And of course, I cut it, so the threads are loose. I can pull it apart. This one's good. This one's not seamed. So what do I want to do here? <laughs> I have one gold, 
gold piece hanging down. How do I want to do that? What do I want to do? No. Let's tie it here. I like it. I just want to accent the gold up there. Mary's figuring it out. Mary's just talking to herself. You guys are just out there listening. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's tie it shut. Let's make a bow. Oh, sort of a bow. A little short there. Where did it go? Wow. For now, it's good. And that comes down that way. And I like this, but I wanted... Maybe I'll just weave it in and out. I just want a gold accent. And go in under there. Whoops. That was the wrong way. Watch her break this one. This way. Yeah, that's what I want. And this way. It's a junk journal. It's made out of junk. Now let's come under this. So I'm wrapping that. Ooh, that's a good technique to remember when you make your journals, especially if it's a junk journal. My threads, I'm wrapping my thread here. That's kind of cool. I like that. I don't know what I'm going to do down at the bottom, but we'll see when I get there. I like that. I'll have to remember that on my next journal I haven't bound my April one I'll I'll bind that off camera I need this in a needle come on get in there it's floating away from me I like the idea of, of wrapping that thread. It's kind of a cool technique. You'll be seeing me do more of that, of this, wrapping this binding thread here. I think I'll just let it hang, tie it in a knot down at the bottom and let it hang. If I can get it into a knot. Get it through again. can tie it into a knot here. It's pretty short. I'm just using what I had. There we go. There we go. Oh, I like it. Ah, Now I'm happy. There's my tassel. I'll make a charm for it. I have a tassel and a double tassel. Just because I didn't want to waste my thread. And it ties here with a tie. We'll save that for something. Throw that away. All right. Of all that pain, I'm liking it. And then, let's just open it up. And here's my cover. Now this, I can put a... Of course, my pins are all over here. I can put a couple of pins in here. To journal with. I could put some colored ones in there. However. So, or a pencil. This one's 
kind of let's put it up there a bit more. This needs to be mended here. Let's mend that with some thread. Let's do that just because it's bothering me. I'm not done yet. Where's my black thread? Let's, let's put some stitches in here. Keep that closed. Oh my. <laughs> Look over at my I look over at my cart here and it's just piled high. Let's see, today is Thursday. I haven't gone to town yet. All right, I want to see this. This has a thread here, but it's, it's more of a, well, yeah, see, it's not, it's come out. So I'm going to see if I can't put my needle in here. And maybe my awl. Let's make some holes in here. 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 And here. And hopefully I can come back through. You know what? I should do a blind knot on this. Uh, hopefully I'll have enough. Thread the open ends through my needle. You guys have seen me do this. Get in there. I'm hoping my needle will come back through that, but I might have to pull it through and push it through. Pull it through there. Come back up. Make sure I have two thicknesses here. Did I go through everything? That was my all. It's hard to see where I went. Can see the loop through here. I can see it. And back through. Get in there. Yeah. I'm only doing this because the the stitching worked out on this plastic. And that's what I was afraid would happen when I make project envelopes. But I see um, Rhonda stitched plastic and she zigs not Rhonda, Ruth. She zigzagged her plastic. See, the, the stitching, this is stitched here, but it's it's... 
it's tiny stitches and they've worked out. And I'm not going to worry about how neat it looks or doesn't. This is a junk journal. It's a junk journal. Where's the other hole? Up here. It's there. It's a junk journal. It's supposed to be junky. And then I'm just going to pull it up here and let a let a tie it in a knot and let it hang. I may want to put a charm on that. I'm going to let it hang for now. Now, my pen should fit in here without slipping around. And I have to do it again. <laughs> One. Let's see. There. 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 Here and one set to the top. Show it this way. And then this one. And this one. All right, hold the phone. We're not done yet. Hold on to that, Penelope. Let's go to another spread. I think I can get this black crochet thread at Walmart. I'm not wanting to go any place today. Again, but I have to go. I've been putting it off all week because it's been rainy. It's supposed to be sunny today. That's a poor excuse for not going any place. All right, one more time here. So we're going to go through. Leave the loop. Come back through from the back. Your thread wants to catch on stuff. Go through the loop. Make my blind knot. Go down through here it's a junk journal it's supposed to be junky it's supposed to be junky that way whoops we caught that thread <laughs> and come back in here And back there. I should have started at the top. But I didn't. Luckily I have enough thread. Here. And we're just going to bring it up to the top. We'll twist it around. Bring it up to the top. Make a knot. Oh, maybe I'm not too soon. Doggone it. I always do that. 
Can I get it out? I didn't pull it too tight, did I? There we go. Make another knot. There we go. We're going to let this one hang down too. And I'm going to put little charms on this. Not, not this morning. I'm about done with it this morning. I've had enough. I've had enough. Put my scissors away. Put my all away. And put this other pin in here. I'll get some fresh pins for this. Let's see, my pens will fit, and I have room for, by golly, I have room for one more. I'm going to put one of these flat. This marker, pen plus gear marker, has kind of got a rounded edge here. On this one, it's flat, and this one is a fine tip one, and these are medium tip. So I can put a fine tip, and they're permanent markers, which I like about these. But what I don't like is Walmart is stingy on after after uh, after the school season. If they get bought, they don't restock them out again. I'm just gonna tie it in a knot here. We might put put a tie tack on here. I'll see if I can find some tie tacks. Or even an earring would act as a tie tack. Would be a good. And then I got my ink pens. So this will make a really fun. A really fun, fun. Uh, front porch junk, junk journal. To write on when I go out to the front porch. Okay, so here it is. I got my double tassels. I'm going to put charms on yet. I'm going to see if I can find some tie tacks. I don't see many tie tacks at the, I guess I don't really look for them at the jewelry counters. I don't even see the clip on, but you know, men don't wear that many ties anymore. So anyway, I'm out on the front porch. I open it up. I open it up. You know what this, what it needs? It needs some pockets. I need pockets. And there's my ink pens. I really do like that. I might do that in more of my journals. Just make a make a little holder like this for my pens. The only problem with doing that is I'll need a dashboard because, or I'll have to take out my pens when I'm working it. Working on this side of the page is going to be okay. Here it's going to get a little lumpy. But. So here's my pages. I've got a postal page, which the roses kind of show out the top. I like how that happens. This is a February postal catalog that they, I don't think they print these anymore. Stamp. Here's the ace bag here. This is the order form. Blank page. Calendar page from Arlene. Calendar page. This is a little contents page. I don't know why. Glad tidings, elements of peace, and natural partners. I guess those spoke to me. And on the blank page to write on. Some flowers. Ace bag. An envelope with a pocket. A little pocket. I might have to reinforce that with washi. And calendar page to write on. Write on. Write on. A little paint smear page. This was just junk I had at my desk. Arlene used this as packing, the calendar pages as packing material. Make a perfect junk journal, Arlene. Thank you very much. And there we go. Calendar page. I just have to use this stuff up. I have to use it. I've got it all scattered around my room. All this junky stuff. 
this will make a very nice front porch journal. Beyond Bees, and it's a snap. I'm happy with this. Quarter form, paper sack. And here's the back, and I can put stuff in the back. This kind of got crooked, but it's okay. The back, I don't know. I might put something in here, maybe, maybe colored pens or something. Now, what I need, though, is a dashboard. Because I know when I sit out on the front porch and work for, on stuff, it, so I'll, I'll look for a, a piece of cardboard or something that, to use as a dashboard to, to, for a writing surface. I'm not going to do that now. And I'm just going to tie this in a knot like this rather than a bow. All right, let me come out and chat. I'm happy with this. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. i got two hours yet. This is Thursday. I can go until... I, I don't know if Dee Dee's going to come on today or not. Um, Janet was wanting her to do a drawing session. And if they do it today, I can't go because I have to go shopping. Let's go down to... Let me refresh. And let's come out and chat. Let's come out and chat. When I'm doing this, see, I've got something here on this, on my thumbnail that says, do you guys see that on my thumbnail? It says, design a peaceful place. I'm not sure what that is. I don't remember having anything that says design a peaceful place. I don't know what that is. If that's, I don't know. It's on there. <laughs> it's on part of my thumbnail. And there's an ad. Maybe it's a part of that ad. What ad is this? No, it can't. This is Ancestry ad. Um, it can't be a part of the ad because I see it on different, even with different ads. So let me go to chat. Let me get out of this. Skip ads. Sorry. All right. Ancestry ad. That's interesting. Hi, Suze. Good morning, Suze. Hi. Hi, Roy. <laughs> so relaxing and distracting, Roy says. Lizzie says she's doing some cantha. Uh, now, it was Barbara, a chicken pot pie society, who said that she was watching videos on the, those cantha quilts. And she says that, that the experts say that the, the N in cantha, that I pronounce it as cantha, N with the N. She says that N is silent. So it would be cantha quilts, cantha stitching. Lizzie's still here with me. <laughs> and Suze is here. Hi, Lori. Good morning, Lori Pink Girly. Ann Lar is here. And I really enjoyed, if you guys missed Ann Lar's, um, she showed us she showed, i bring this down a little. She showed us the other day how she uses um, Google Drive, that which where you can access Google Drawing. And she showed us how to get in there. And I thought that was a really good demo, Anne. So Anne Lar, that's the name of her, of her channel. If you, if you aren't, uh, if you aren't familiar with her, if you're not subscribed, go subscribe. She also did a really good Time for Art stream the other night where she was using Tim Holtz ephemera. And then she got to talking about personal ephemera. And I have started just in my scraps here. I've started me a bag for personal ephemera this morning. I got a Krylon tag. I got a... A receipt from my car repair and I got a note from the county clerk saying tray the county uh, is it she the clerk or the treasurer county clerk I think saying that she's not going to I mean that they're not we're going to have mail-in voting and they do that in our counties I'm not for mail-in voting uh, personally I would rather go in and vote and, you know, mark my ballot and get my little sticker and put my ballot in the box. I would rather do that. But there are a lot of counties in Nebraska 
especially in western and northwestern Nebraska, where, you know, it's sparsely populated, you know, so um, they're all for mail-in voting. I'm not for it so much. Um, I don't want to get into all the political aspects of voting, but um, I just, I miss the old days. My brother and I were talking, I'm, you know, I, I hate, I'm, I'm a, com I was a computer programmer for years, and I know the, I was, well, I worked on the support team. I know the issues that even insurance programs and, and uh, I worked on insurance programs and I worked in, on direct mail, like junk mail advertising. That's all computerized, all your addresses and all the, you know, and I know from just working on the support team, what kind of problems there are just on something as business related as that. And I'll tell you, I would rather personally, here I'm saying I didn't want to get into it. I would rather our votes be counted uh, manually. My brother and I were talking about that. We were talking about the computer age and all of that. And we were talking about our lotteries. Let's throw the voting political stuff aside, Mary, and talk about the lottery. And we were talking about how I was reading an article in the newspaper and I was reading it to him and we were discussing it. And he said, well, the lottery, the lottery, they said the, you used to have it on TV where they would pop all those little balls up through the air, you know, and the lady would go in there and pick them out. To me, that's more fair. I, you know, sure it's computerized and all of that, and they put it under lock and key. I don't care how many lock and keys you have a software system under so nobody can get to it. They can still get to it under lock and key, or you can still have a bad program. And, uh, you know, we were discussing how here in Nebraska, you know, yeah, every now and then somebody may win 60,000 or something like that, but we don't have any big winners. And I just can't help thinking that that isn't manipulated somehow. I I don't know. You can't accuse anybody of that. But I miss the old days. I miss the days when they showed it on TV and the lady sat there and they, they pulled it out of the, the little pop-up thing, you know, pulled out the numbers. I miss that. I guess I'm getting old. All right. How did I get off on that computerized stuff? All right, let's go back to chat, Mary. I miss the old days. Lizzie's sewing something pretty, Arlene says. Ooh, cool. Jersey says she's she's now arting less chatter her. I am now arting less chatter her. Hugs red, feel better. Oh, less chatting here. So she's saying, Jersey says... I'm going to art. I have to tell you guys, when I do watch my streams, I very rarely watch them here at my desk. I'm generally, generally when I'm watching streams, I'm sitting in my recliner. So unless I have a journal right next to me, I'm not doing much art when I watch streams. Um, except for when Becky comes on. I like to work along with Becky. I like her. And I, I need to work on that project bag. Suze is here. Roy is here. Red is here. Renee. Um, Red Wagon. Barbara Ch Chicken Pot Pie Society. Lori. Arlene says she's allergic to wheat now. She misses making bread and just not motivated to learn how to make wheat-free bread. Rye bread. Are, are you allergic to rye? I kind of like rye bread. We don't have it much. Too much of it gets a little overpowering, but Kimberly says it's great. Thank you, Kimberly. She was talking about my junk journal. Anne says, I used to make French toast out of my homemade shala. Shala is, um, isn't that a a, a type of bread. And 
Roy says, that's special, Anne, but my shala never gets to the day-old stage, <laughs> meaning he eats it. Bootsy says, leftover Irish so sourdough French toast for breakfast today. Ooh, you guys are making me hungry. Um, one morning, Aunt Beck came in and said that she made French toast in her waffle maker. And I've always wanted to try that ever since I saw her say that. I'm going, I'm going to try to make some French toast in the waffle maker. I think that sounds good. And by the way, Becky, I posted on her community tab that she's taking the week off of electronics. She says, see you next week. She didn't stream last night. There's Renee. Arlene says, is anybody else crafting this morning? Ooh. And Arlene says, I had a good rotary cutter, but then I lost dexterity in the hand that works. I gifted the cutter to the quilting marine. Ah, cool. Oh, there's Kathy's World. Way back at 6.40, it's 9.10, so about a half an hour ago. Hi, Kathy, if you're out there listening. My hugging buddies just got here. Oh, so she's just lurking. It's hard to type with two little boys. She's probably taking care of her hugging buddies, her little ones. Grands, I think. Arlene says, I had a good rotary. I read that. Kimberly says, my husband just got me new blades, Roy. I swear, I had to take 45-minute OSHA class before he gave it to me. <laughs> Kimberly, I'm laughing if you're listening uh, on... I, I'm thinking you're talking about the rotary cutter and her her husband just got her new blades for it and he, he made her take a 45 minute OSHA class. OSHA meaning the, what is it? That's kind of like the health and safety type thing. <laughs> they were telling me how to use my rotary cutter the other night. They were so afraid I was going to cut myself and I listened. I listened because I don't use it too much. I was pulling it toward me. I was pulling it toward me because I generally do that when I'm using my my utility knife. I my utility knife you don't pull you can't cut this way with your utility knife. Well, you can, but it'd be difficult. So usually when you use your utility knife, you pull it toward you because that's how the blade cuts. But a rotary cutter is it it rolls so you can push it rather than pull it. I I I got trained. <laughs> And then there was the little discussion we have of the retractable blade. Oh, I'm up at the top. And Tina was in here. Attaché papers. Good morning, Tina, if you're out there. Ruth is here. She says, good job, Rhonda. Mary, I linked. Ah, oh, good, Rhonda. She says, seriously, everyone needs to have a piece of cake on me. Ah, oh, congratulations, Rhonda. Did you put a link in here? I don't see a link in here. Let's see. Arlene says, Kimberly said the thing that you were seeing on the magazine you had on. Oh, oh, that was on the magazine that I had on my desk. Yes, it is. Thank you, Kimberly. Design a peaceful place. It was on this horticulture magazine. I got this out for flowers for the Art Nouveau. And it's just sitting out here. And then... What else did I have out here that I want to put in my Art Nouveau? This wallpaper. Somebody sent me this wallpaper border. And I thought this would go fun in my Art Nouveau. It's the right coloring. Well, I'm up to the top. I come back down to the bottom. So, Rhonda can link now. Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh. She says, talk about getting excited too soon <laughs> you'll get it Rhonda hi Nettie good morning Nettie Nettie Munson was used to be mom Munson she's using Nettie now Rhonda says and I'm trying to figure out how to link and I picked your channel to try Arlene Arlene I wish I could just pick up your your phone and show you, Rhonda. You go up to the top. If you're on their phone, I don't know if you have an Android or a, 
and I'm on the YouTube app too. So I don't know what you're using. If you're using a web browser on your phone or if you're using an app. I'm on the YouTube app here. I watch through on they've got a YouTube app. Just like they got an app for everything. They got a YouTube app. And I I go out of my chat and I go up to the top here where it shows my menu up here and there's a little search bar and I hit the search bar and look I've been look I've been looking for Aunt Beck and Dee Dee and Beth Schuler and Tanya and that's all my searches are in here. Rosemary Morris and Kathy Berg and Pearl Brown and Aaron, Cat Hand, Tammy. These are the people that I've been watching. Oh look, I look for Paul Weaver. <laughs> I look for nut bars. <laughs> and APG Jamie, Mrs. GG and Bootsy. But anyway, I just, I either type it in or I just click on like Aunt Beck's and Aunt Beck comes up. Now you can do it different ways. I generally click on her and go to her channel and then there's some three dots up there. I click on the three dots on the top and it says share. So look for some place that allow you to share the channel. You can also share a video, but when the, you hit the share, the copy link, you get all this stuff. You can copy the link, you can send a link in the email, you can send it to your Facebook news feed, you can send it to Facebook Messenger, you can do all this stuff. But I usually just copy the link. Now if you go into the Aunt Beck's videos, you have the videos. And if you go over to the three dots over here, you can do this different ways. But here's her, here's her time for art video, Masterboard. You can click on the three dots over there and there's a share. Or you can click on the video itself, which will probably give me... No, I don't think I'll have sound yet. And if you click on the video itself in here, there's a share. So always, whether you're at the channel level or the video level, look for the share. That's how I do it. But generally, by the time I find my way on my tablet when I'm getting ready to share a link in here. Generally, you guys have done it faster, which is okay. Oh, Journey! Oh, Journey, thank you. Oh, bless your heart, Journey. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta get on my list. I have a list. I'm I'm not going to the library to not till next week, but I'm gonna go to the library and everybody that's on my list here, I've been making it since last September. Some of these I've already mailed some to, but I'm going to mail them all. Everybody on my list is going to get a set of animals. I got a squirrel, an owl. I'm working on the lion. I'm going to do the lamb. Let's see. Let's put Journey on here. This is 318. Journey and Journey's probably on here a couple times. And uh, thank you, Journey. So that's so sweet of you guys to do that. Thank you so much. You guys are so you are so encouraging to me, and, and I just don't deserve it. I don't deserve you guys. But bless your heart. May your art cart be blessed. May your art cart be blessed. You generally get what you give. You generally get what you give. So you guys that have been giving all of this to support the Super Chat. And I keep telling you guys, I don't spend my Super Chat money. I don't spend it. It's out there. And I haven't, I haven't spent one penny of it. And I can go into my analytics on my, in my channel dashboard and get a record of, of the total. I know how to do that. <laughs> you figured it out. So I know how much money that you guys have given me since day one of Super Chat. And, and when I reach finally reach 8,000 subscribers, it's gone up and down. Especially the last couple of weeks, it's gone up and down. I'll get to 7,970 and then it'll go up to 80, and then it'll come back down to 70, and then it'll go back up to 80. I'm trying to get to 8,000 subscribers, but YouTube has done something. They've done some. I used to get two or three subscribers a day. Now I'm lucky if I get a subscriber a month. <laughs> YouTube has done something to throttle 
uh, some of the smaller channels, I think, back. They're concentrating on the big people. And that's okay. I understand that because, you know, the, it's all supported by advertising. And, you know, the advertisers, they don't advertise just to, for the fun of it. They advertise to draw in people, to attract people to their um, product. So the more people that watch a video the bigger subscribers have the more viewers that's going to attract the advertisers more because they'll have a better exposure so i get that but it's awful discouraging for the smaller channels that youtube doesn't they support us they support us they give us space and you know we have almost the same uh controls in our dashboard and stuff there's some things that even now that we don't have access to but they kind of have eased up on that too they used to not let the smaller channels in on the merch merch stuff merch merch and the what was that other thing the group and the, where you can join a group you can have a group membership and they used to, used to have to have 10,000 subscribers, but they've eased up on that. Now several of the smaller channels are having memberships. And I'd like to do that, but I'm going back and forth on it. Uh, one reason why I don't do it is I'm not teaching anything. Like Kathy Arbor has a teaching. She teaches it. And so does Debbie Epps. And so it's worth joining that to join a class that she may be presenting to a membership and she's getting a little compensation for your member. I joined Kathy Arbor's membership team. I haven't gone out there yet, though. But uh, I'm not teaching. And if I put anything out here, like like if I'm on the Google Drive, like I put that nutcracker, I want that to go to everybody. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out what I would do, I mean, you can have a membership chat only for members only, but here again, if I'm going to stream, I want you all to stream, you know, you get the, I want everybody, all right, what's going on here, Rhonda says, now we can celebrate, thankfully, everyone for your patience with me, oh, thank you, Art, Rhonda, for not just giving up and saying, I can't do it, I can't, look, let's click on Rhonda's link, Rhonda, congratulations. Oh, she put a link to Ann Lars using Google Drawings. Rhonda, yay, Rhonda. Way to go, Rhonda. <laughs> if I had a piece of cake, I could pass it through the screen. I would do it, Rhonda. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, this up. Thank you. Oh, and I have your address, Biz. I'm going to, you'll be getting my drawings too when I, what's holding me back is, and I said this several times, is I want to find a low cost way to make all these prints. Because I can't afford, you know, 59 cents to a dollar for a print for 50 people. Let me put Biz up in here again. This is 318. You gave me one on February 5th, Biz. It's right here, right above this one. And I have your address. But once I get... I, I want to go to the library, I think, and see if they'll let me run 60-pound uh, cardstock, that Neha white cardstock through their laser printer. I think they'll let me. It's just a little bit thicker paper, but it's still... It's a little heavier, but I think it'll go through their copier. I'll, uh, when I take my master board in to print, I'll, I'll take a, a pack of that Neha white paper and see if, because it, it's 60 pound. And I think that that'll go through their copier fine. And if they do, that'll be a lot cheaper. And they make nice copies. Nettie! Oh, Nettie. She says, you do deserve it, Mary. I do not. You guys are so kind to me. <laughs> Let me reach and write Nettie. Nettie just gave me one the other morning. On, um, not yesterday, but last week sometime. 
318 Nettie again. Thank you, Nettie. Oh, you guys are so sweet to me. Thank you so much. Did I miss anybody besides Biz Up and Nettie? And, and who else did I write down here? Journey. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Aw, thank you. Candy says she... Oh, good morning, Candy. Candy says, I feel a little tired today. I did not fall asleep until 5. Oh, I have those days, Candy. Hopefully you're at home and you can take a nap whenever you need to. And if you need to now, you just go right ahead. Oh, Nettie, you're so sweet. Thank you. Here's another blessing that we have because making lemon out of, lemonade out of lemons. We've had a lemon of a year in 2020. Kind of a lemon of a year starting in 2021. It's a little bit better. But uh, um, here's the blessing is here. We can chat. The... the and and the the hops that's one of the reasons why i like the hops i like the hops because of the art and seeing how people interpret the same theme but i also love all this interaction that we have we you know like we're friends <laughs> we're just you are internet friends and i can remember the day when the internet was just coming out big and we'd make online people said your internet friends are not real friends they're virtual friends well they are virtual friends but but we get to know each other and we're real people we're not we're not most of us are real people we're not some what what are they the hologram out there we're real people and we we formed a lot of friendships and I think just this last year, 2020, uh, with having to stay home more, thank goodness for the internet. Thank goodness that for all these chat streams that we have. That's what I like about the live streams. It isn't the art. Gosh, I'm still working. Well, my master board is done. I mean, as far as getting it done. I, have to, I want to make prints and work with my master board stuff. It's it's not the art so much as it is the friendships. Hi, Nancy. Nancy says, I don't purchase art supplies without a coupon or a sale. I know, Nancy. I read that Michael's and Joanne's might do away with the 40% coupons, too. I've heard that, too. Um... I tell you, I, I'm on the verge of making some copies of my orders from Amazon and sending them to Hobby Lobby and saying, you know, saying, if you guys can't give me a 40% coupon off on things that I regularly buy that do not, you, you, they never put that other stuff. And I use glossy accents as a, as an example. When I go to Hobby Lobby, I generally use my coupons on things that, that they don't put 40% off on. And uh, they put 40% off on an awful lot of stuff at Hobby Lobby. I mean, there's Paper Studio and Master's Touch and your, your drawing papers, and I appreciate that. But I think that by them doing away with the 40% coupons, I think they're just taking away a little of the fun of going shopping. You know, it's fun to go use a 40% coupon. You go, oh, I can get this product. I can get glossy accents today because I have my 40% coupons and it's not on sale. And yet there might be something that's 40%. I live 70 miles away from my Hobby Lobby store. Maybe maybe I go on a week that uh, um, Tim Holtz is not on sale. And maybe I want uh, some Tim Holtz ephemera and it's not on sale. Well, I could use my 40% coupon on it. And so I just think that they've, I think that, that they might think they're saving money, but I think they're losing a lot of, I think they're losing a lot of 
the fun that we used to have going shopping. And I hate to say they're losing the goodwill because I still shop at Hobby Lobby. It's just that I'm so disappointed in them. And I'm tempted just to take some Amazon orders and say, look, if you guys can't offer this to me, I'm going to order it on Amazon. You know, just as rebellion. <laughs> to bring back our coupons and let them know how we really feel about it. Um, just, you know, I think we tend to maybe shrug it off and say, well, that's business. And it is just business. I can get that point. But, you know, I'm a shopper, too. And, uh, you know, I support Hobby Lobby. I it, It's really the only big craft store that I have access to, big box store, unless I go to Lincoln or Omaha. Or and order it on Amazon. I used to never shop Amazon. You guys know that. I used to never shop on Amazon. But lately, lately it's been, I can get stuff easier. Um, they do away with stuff. My my uh, state my uh, Strathmore art journals, those leather bound ones. I used to buy them at Hobby Lobby. They quit now. They put all those masters touch draw, and they're all drawing and sketching. You know, I can't find a leather bound, stitched Strathmore, mixed media or watercolor Strathmore at Hobby Lobby anymore. They've done away with it, and that just breaks my heart. They did away with um, F and W inks. They got another set of inks in there, and their clearance sales. Well, you got to give them a break on their clearance sales. They've they've started putting their clearance stuff in the in with the regular stuff. You kind of have to look for the clearance stuff. They don't, you know. I love those big old clearance sales and I wish they would announce when they do one we only know if there's a big Hobby Lobby clearance if somebody announces it on Facebook or someplace so those are my beefs all right I've chattered away let's see what is Ann saying let's see let me look at chat Arlene it's like going to the grocery store for one thing never happens yeah fiber of symptoms Oh, I'm sorry, Suze. I'm sorry. She, since uh, Suze had a uh, accident that broke some bones in her neck. Is that right? I don't want to get it wrong, Suze. But since she had an accident, was it? I'll let you tell it because I don't want to tell it wrong. But as a result of that, she's been having fibro symptoms, fibromyalgia. And my heart goes out to you that are that are suffering with health issues. I get a little itch on my hand and <laughs> I'm hurting. <laughs> you know, I have a sneeze every now and then. I'm I'm pretty healthy. But uh um you know, it could happen any time. I could get sick too. But those of you who are fighting health issues, my heart and prayers just go out to you. Yeah, Arlene says, they are hurting themselves because most crafters don't go into the store and just buy one item. They get one coupon item and then a bunch of more, and many will stop going. Let's see, what did Lizzie say? I think that they are only hurting themselves by discontinuing their coupons because most use a coupon will buy more than just one item. Yeah, I agree. What did Ann say? I missed what Ann said. She said, hi, Juanita. <laughs> uh, Juanita said, there are kids that I played video games with who are adults now getting married and having kids. And we never met in person, but I send them handmade hats and baby blankets. Oh, Juanita. Juanita is She Spins. And if you have not found Juanita's channel, Juanita is, her, her channel is She Spins. S-H-E-S-P-I-N-S. -E and I have to tell you, when I first met Juanita, I was call, I did, I wasn't translating it into she spins. I was trying to figure out what she, what her name was, and then all of a sudden it hit me. She spins. <laughs> Juanita does wonderful spinning and weaving and crocheting, and she's doing art journaling too. 
So if you haven't found her, go click on her. Well, you can't click on her link anymore. They took that away from us. They, I wish they'd quit taking things away from us. You know, they seem to, they think they're helping us. But they took away that ability to click on an uh, uh, icon and go out to somebody's channel. We hate it. They took away our Google Hangouts. We hate it. <laughs> and they don't give us what we need. I want, I want a, and Arlene was saying on her Kindle, she got a, on her Kindle when, when that menu popped up, like I'll be scrolling and that menu will pop up. And who was it? I put, I put Janet Nash in time out the other morning, just as, because I was scrolling along and the menu popped up and I was still scrolling. I was still scrolling and that menu popped up. And I was still scrolling and I hit put it in a timeout. And it didn't ask me if I wanted to really put her in timeout. It just went and put her in timeout. And Arlene says it gives her a confirmation message on the Kindle. And so it's not a YouTube thing. But I think it still is a YouTube thing. Because YouTube confirmation messages should work on all different devices. That's a programming thing. Um, and... YouTube and Google are big supporters of Android. And all of my devices are Android. And they need to check that out. It's just, I hate that. Because I, I hate putting you guys in time out. Luckily, I think I've only blocked one person. I think one time I blocked Lucia. Generally, I put them in time out or delete a message or something. I missed what Anne said about whatever she was talking about. Somebody agreed with her. All right, let's go back down to the bottom. Yeah, it's so easy to click on the icon and go follow a person. But I guess it was getting misused, so YouTube took it away because they take away the good stuff because of the bad people. The, the, the trolls were misusing it. And I, you know, I, I just, I'm going, can't you just get rid of the trolls? <laughs> you know, if somebody is misusing it, and if you know they're misusing it, get rid of the people that are misusing it. Don't get rid of us because you took away something that we really use. See? And I joined a YouTube team, and uh, you're supposed to when it's a testing team and I joined it, they on creator insider, they have a link where you can join, go join a team. If you want to be a part of their testing. And I filled out all the documentation, sent it all in. They haven't sent me one thing. You know, I was expected to be asked my opinion. <laughs> I guess they do it according to what they're testing at the time. Well, they did send out one thing they wanted to know and they're probably, I don't want to tell you guys what they're testing, because that would be a violation. They were testing one thing, but that doesn't affect me, so I don't have much experience with it. So they didn't choose me to be a part of that test. And I don't want to tell you what it was, because we'll let YouTube tell you. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble for telling you what they're testing. That's their confidential confidentiality before they but I think it is a product that they already have out there but I don't want to get in trouble with them I just want to tell them what I think because I there are several things I would do first of all I'd get rid of that confirmation message that's just a programming technique that's a programming technique that I, I tell them they're those YouTube technicians are geniuses you know they can handle that easy uh, you know, that's not a hard for thing for them to do. And they need a support team. <laughs> they got a support team, but they need to go handle that. And uh, But there's other things, like I would love to be able to put playlists in a top-level playlist. Like my my live streams, every month I have, I'm doing three video hops. One is a video hop, two live stream hops every month. Well, I since let's take the Friday night one. I started it last July, and this is what March, almost a year of twelve streams, twelve live stop, 
12 live stream hops every month. And I, so I got, I, and because I have close to 10 or 12 videos in every hop, I don't just want to pile them all in one big live stream hop because they do have to go through and go, oh, all of a sudden we're in another month or how did this, you know, and it can get, so I put the, each little hop in one playlist. So, for Friday night, after a year, I'll have 12 playlists. Well, I would like to take those 12 playlists. Are you listening, YouTube? I say this several times, and they just... Uh, I say it on the creator board. I, I, I was hoping that by joining that team, they would ask me what I thought. <laughs> but they haven't yet. So, um, I would like to take those 12 playlists and put it in a top-level playlist. So I could have a January 2020 or July 2020 playlist, an August playlist. And I don't mind putting all of those just like a file cabinet, you know, and that should be, that would be a little, I think a little bit more, it's not as straightforward as just putting in a confirmation message. Yeah, There's probably a little bit more programming that has to go on, but still they need to do that you, because my playlists, you look at all my videos and all my playlists out there. They're just like that. <laughs> I'd like to organize them better. And then I have videos. At least they're working on their mobile. I love that they're working on their mobile app. Because I do most of my YouTube stuff mobile now. Uh, just because it's just easier for me to hold it in my hand. And they've made a lot of improvements on their mobile app. And I'll give them an A-plus for that. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Arlene. I've gotten off on my bunny trail again today. Roy says he's working on his. On, uh, on your playlist or on a, on a... What are you working on, Roy? I missed it. Because I was chattering. Lizzie says, Suze, you are a miracle. I'm happy that God is on your side. Yes. I'm happy that God is, God is on everybody's side. Let me preach. God doesn't hate anybody. God hates the evil, but he doesn't hate people. He made you. All right. End of preaching. The subby parties and growth streams are why YouTube ended that feature. They had nothing to do with trolls. The subby parties? Oh, you mean just going out and getting subbies from a stream? And the growth streams are why they ended it? Well, I guess trolls in the sense of trolling coming saying bad people. But you could call subby parties trolling. Uh, it, it's still misuse of the system. So, if the subby parties was why they ended it, why don't they get rid of the subby parties um, and make that a violation, a YouTube violation, if you're out there just gathering names? They know if you're out there gathering names and growth streams or why YouTube ended that feature. I don't care. Uh, it's a feature that we found very useful, and they can bring it in. They can find out good ways to give us better access to our channels. And to tell you the truth, if I want to have a subby party, I'll find a way to come into a stream and still find you. Uh, it'll make They made it a little harder, but they didn't get rid of subby parties. Those people who want to grow their streams and grow their channel just by getting people's... Like, I, you know, I have to say it. People will come into my channel and join my streams just to get subscribers. And I don't I don't mind if they're growing an art stream. I really don't mind because I support art streams. Let's just let's just use uh, well let's use Aunt Beck because I think she'll understand. Let's just pretend that Aunt Beck came to my stream just to get subscribers. I would, and if I was aware of it, or if I felt that she was a person who was just coming to my channel, not really not wanting to participate, just coming to grab whoever's viewing and invite them over to her place. Um, that really, if, if I knew Aunt Beck was an art stream, 
that wouldn't bother me too much because it's supporting the art community. Now, if Aunt Bet came here and uh, while I was streaming and came in here and announced that she was going to stream while I was streaming, I might have a, a, a problem with that because I don't like somebody, if it, I don't mind somebody streaming while I stream because we don't run the internet. But when you come into my stream and pull my viewers away over into your stream at the same time, and and you can come in, like I'll go into like Rosemary's stream, but I don't go in and, and pull her viewers away. I don't go in and announce, hey, you know, come over to my place, you know. I And I very rarely go over to somebody else's stream now unless I let them know, like Pearl. I, I messaged Pearl the other day when I went to her auction. And I said, Pearl, I know you're going to have an auction and I'd love to come while I was streaming over there. Are you okay with it? And she was, she was okay with it. So you have to be careful about those things. So I mean, back to the subby parties. YouTube is not stopping subby parties. They're just maybe slowing it down a little. Um... It's going to happen. I really truthfully think that they should put the... Because what they did is they took away something that most of us like. Just to get rid of what, how somebody else was misusing it. And they're not going to stop the misuse. They're, if somebody wants to go grab subbies, they're going to go grab subbies regardless. You know? Like I could go into... Let's just pretend I'm not in my own stream. Let's pretend that I'm in that stream and I see Trace out there. Hi, Trace. I go, oh, look, there's Trace Duffy. Does she have a channel? Let's go see. Or, um, I don't think she does, but let's go see. Uh, and it, it'll slow it down a little, but if they're fast, oh, let's see. I, don't, I forgot how to spell her name, her last name. Let's use, let's use Aunt Beck because that's my, Aunt Beck is, Aunt Beck will understand. Let's just pretend that I saw Aunt Beck out here. Does Aunt Beck have a channel? Let's go find out. So let's go to my search bar. And I already typed in Trace. Let's go see what we can find out about Aunt Beck on here. Uh, do, 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 do. Back, 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 back. Um, of course, they're better typists than me. Now I'm just going to hit her all right we're going off to her channel oh look she has a, a channel she has two almost 3k subscribers and she has almost 2,000 videos oh she might be somebody that we could invite well so here we got a subby party we'll put her on a list but to tell you the truth youtube in their analytics in their analytics you can almost get subby parties from your analytics, to tell you the truth. Because I can go out, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to go to my dashboard. But I can go to my dashboard, let's get back into my chat. I can go to my dashboard and I can figure out what channels, uh, after my video has processed, I can go out and look at what channels have um, links to my video through my dashboard youtube will tell us they won't tell you they they will tell you um they're they're now telling you in through your dashboard and this is common information this isn't anything i mean for the user for the for the channel host you can also go to your analytics and see who watches your channel the most now uh your regular subscribers who comes to your channel the most you know, they know all this information in their analytics. And and uh, so I just, I still think they should put our little go to the channel thing and quit worrying about subby parties and stream growth things. We want people to grow. And here's the other thing. Even if they, even if, if they find your channel or find you and, and, invite you to your channel, to their channel. I'm not sure exactly how a subby party would work, but I would think they would, you know, somehow try to draw you into their channel to create growth. 
you, you have a choice. You don't, if they, if you get subscribed to a channel, you can unsubscribe. You don't have to go watch them, you know. And if you're, if you think that they're a channel that's out there misusing it, um, just don't go there. Unsubscribe from them. Um, you, you have a choice of who you want to go to. Yeah, that's true too, Barbara says. Um, when you when you give a me a super chat or you give anybody a super chat because of the exchange, monetary exchange between countries and even between banks, like if um well Dee Dee did a super chat for my on my channel yesterday at ten dollars. Well it showed up as nine dot nine nine for some reason or another. But Google gets a percentage of that. But not only does Google get a percentage of that, um, there's the currency exchange. If somebody in the UK gives me, or or I think Barb is in Canada, gives me a super chat, the exchange rate uh, alters it. And, the, and I'm not going to say how because it's a Canadian-American currency thing. And New Zealand, New Zealand currency between the New Zealand currency and the American currency, they work all that out. And not only do they work it out, there's all the bank fees. So out of the super chat, I think YouTube takes, what, 30%? 30% of the super chat, and then you have the bank fee. So you, you only get a portion of your super chat money. But even that portion... Over, like I showed you all those names. If I don't spend that money, that small portion adds up, and it does help. So even though it looks pathetic, Barb, we still love it, and we thank you very much for all the super chats. Yeah, they do take there. But here again, you can't expect PayPal... And, and uh, even YouTube, they're businesses. YouTube gives us a free platform. They have to pay. They don't get all their, they don't get their programming services for free. Well, they might. <laughs> you know, I don't know the, all the contract information on theirs. But, but, you know, their hardware, they have to pay utilities on their building, their business. So they have to make some money. And that's why they have all their advertising. And that's why they take out a portion. I get that. When I go out and work as a consultant and for a consulting firm, a programmer consultant, that company finds me a job, sends me to an interview. Um, and this is how it used to work. And if I get hired, they have to, you know, they have to pay all my because I'm, I am a consultant, it depends on what kind of a consultant you are. If you're an independent contractor, you pay all your W-2 stuff. But if you're, if you're a, um, a 1099, they usually take out money. Or if you become an employee of the consulting company, these businesses have to make money somehow. And I, I get it. It's sad that they take out 30 to 40%. But on the other hand, we, we do get value out of their service. So I go back and forth on it. I wish everything were free. But if, everybody, if, if, if we made everything free for everybody, nobody would be running a business because nobody would have any money to run the business because it was free, if that makes any sense. If you go out shopping at a grocery store, they have to pay for the lights. They have all the overhead expenses. They have to pay the people that run the stock, the stock the shelves. They have to pay for the product to get to them. And they have to pay the people that supply the product. Well, that's why our grocery bills go up. You know, it just it's it's a round circle. 
And sometimes it's not fair. Some pe times people overcharge stuff, like, you know, for crazy reasons. But usually, usually that gets, that's, that's our consumer preference things. That's where if we think somebody's overcharging us, don't buy from them. You know, if, if I think somebody's charging me 300, well, or if I find a better deal someplace else. Uh, or if they take away my coupons and I'm mad at them. Or if they put the coupon rules in small print. I can. It's my choice not to shop there anymore. And it's my choice to say why. You know, let them know what the, what's happening on your side. Well, Google is ridiculously wealthy. I agree with that. But they're still a business. And just because you're wealthy does not mean that you have to offer things for free. I, you know, I, I go back and forth on this. Uh, they are wealthy, but think of the good that they do with their wealth. Um, they could charge less, yeah, and still make money. That's true. That's true. And maybe they will in the future. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Think about what Anne did the other day on her channel, go to Google Drawing. And I, I've been using another little mobile app to do all my drawing and my photo editing and all of that. I use a different app, but Google offers that, they developed that drawing app and they put it out there. It's free for the school kids. Think of Microsoft. Um, Microsoft used to, I don't know what they do now, but Microsoft used to, to discount all these computers and donate all these, and Dell did too, all these computers to schools. Um, you used to be able to be a student and almost get your laptop for free. Um, through because you were a student, you had a student discount. So they may be ridiculously wealthy, but I don't think that means they have to, to, it doesn't mean, and if you feel like they're overcharging, if you feel like a company is overcharging you, don't support them. You know, that's kind of, we have, we have our, our pocketbook is our, our pocketbook is our vote uh, on, on that type of thing. Or it used to be anyway. I just don't think, you know, I, and here again, um, let's get political. I don't, what I have with the high tech companies is them forcing their social media on, or their social media preferences on the general public. That is where I draw the line. I don't mind paying for their services, but I don't want them to tell me how I have to think. Uh, politically, or, and, and take Twitter, take Twitter, uh, I, you know, Twitter, not just our former president, but anybody who would support our former president, if, if they supported him too much, the conservative vote almost got, um, quarantined, <laughs> what do they call that? on the, I've, I've lost the word, but they would, they would put, um, what is that word? Ah, tell me the word when, when they block those channels, just because they've got a conservative voice. And I don't want somebody, when I go out to a high tech company, I don't want the high, the high tech companies are publishers. They are not social. They shouldn't be ruling how somebody thinks. Uh, that we can think for ourselves, we can make our decisions, you know, and that's what the beef I have about high tech. And I really support this. And, and I don't know what's happened to it in Congress, but where they're, they used to give these high tech companies tax breaks because they were developing their services and everything. Well, now they've developed all their services to where they almost control social media and if they are very very liberal and you're very very conservative they can block you off of their 
off of their service. And I, I, uh, I don't go to Facebook much anymore, but not because of that, just because I don't have the time. But right before the elections, I go, here we go again. And uh, there are things you can do on Facebook, I know, to block the political speech. But I just think that high tech has too much control over the thought processes. That's the beef I have about high tech. It's not that they're making money or that they're rich. I, I don't mind them making their money if they provide my service. but And they provide YouTube for free. I wish they wouldn't take the things that they take away from me. But uh, when it comes to the point to where they control our speech, um, and, and legitimate speech. If I'm on here saying bad things and calling people names and, you know, stuff like that, then I understand. But if you're out here just expressing a political viewpoint of some candidate, let's so say I support a local candidate here for mayor and YouTube doesn't support him. And if I'm rallying all my supporters on my channel or something, I'm not, but just pretend I was and YouTube didn't like it. And if they blocked my channel, then I would have a problem with it. Hi, Val. Hi, Journey. I've been chatting. I've been chatting this morning. I've chatted for about an hour. It's 8 o'clock. I got off on a rabbit trail. Let's put my... So you guys know a little bit of how I think. I try... I try... I want... You know... I I try... Um, I don't like a lot of political expression on my channel. I try to keep it... I'm, I'm a conservative... And and I'm of a Christian faith, and I I will say that, but I I don't like to like you won't find me coming out on my channel and telling you how to vote. You won't find I will say go vote, and uh, I hope your votes are counted correctly. I will say that, but I won't tell you who to vote for. I won't tell you what to believe spiritually. I will tell you what I believe spiritually, but I won't sit here and preach at you, you know. And uh, even when I do do Bible art journaling, and I have done it in the past, I will put my comments. I will put my comments in moderate mode, so that you know it doesn't get out of control as far as all of that. And. Uh, Somebody who comes to my channel and wants to express in a way that I'm uncomfortable with, I will, I will speak out against it. Uh, just because that's not the way I want to run my home, and my channel. And, you know, if that offends somebody, I'm sorry. But there are other places for that. Not here. Oh, I opened this up. <coughs> so. We are all people. We're all on different journeys. We have different thoughts. And we grow in different ways. You may be in a different growth area than I am. You may, you may not agree with me on some things. Because you may be in a different, on a different life journey than I am. And I try... To recognize that. All right. What am I doing here? I'm chattering away. While I'm chattering, let's get out my... <clears throat> you guys should see my pile of stuff over here. It just keeps growing. I found fussy cuts this morning. I'm not going to use them, but there they are. And this is stuff I want to put in my journal. I'll put it over here. I'm digging down to get my lion bag. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little cough in my hair. It is. <coughs> so when I chat to you guys, I do chat, don't I? I want to work on this bag a little more this morning. I do want to finish this. I wanted to make three of these, so you'll be seeing me work on these. I got off track when we had our masterboard project. I am not entirely finished with this side yet. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing here. I need to... I talk too much. 
I got a scratch in my throat. All right. That's not going to go back on the top. It's going to fall if I do. I want to finish this lion. And I have him sketched in there. Do I want to paint? This is my lion. And he's kind of rough on here. Let's see. Where is he over here? Did I lay him out? I sketched him. He is my March lion. Yeah, here he is. Is this him? No. Oh, no. I guess I won't get him out. But he he's a photo I got off of, I think I got this either off of Pixabay or Unsplash, and I'm thinking Unsplash. And on this, I want to do some more deco art, I think. I like what I've done here, however. Uh, let me dig down. I am loving this book that Aunt Beck sent me. And I think what I want to do is do another stencil and put another stencil on top of here in in a dark blue and i think i want something i've sketched this one several times this one and i think i want to do some art deco this is kind of art deco-y in a way but this is kind of a nice design i think that'll fit with the lion in the background and I'm getting ready to, I want to sew this. I want to put in the zipper. But I think I want to make a stencil. And I'm just going to do it out of cardstock again. So let's, let's get out a piece of cardstock. And by the way, all that chattering that I did about my thoughts on things. It's okay if you guys think differently. It's okay. I don't expect everybody to agree with me. You have your own thoughts and your own experiences. And that's all right with me. You think Mary's off base? That's all right. If you don't agree. That's what makes us people people is when we can agree to disagree. Mary chatters. All right, what I want to do, I just got this out to show you. What I want to do is make a stencil of this, I think. And let's get my cutting board out. And it'll just be a homegrown stencil. It won't be anything fancy dancy but I've sketched this several times so let's put it this way and this way and I might zoom in a little so you guys can see put this palette knife in my holder down there Let's zoom in just a little. I want to do some art this morning. <coughs> I got to making that scrap journal, but I used scraps up on my page. Just zoom in a teeny bit there. I used scraps up on my page. I mean, out of my, off of my desk. And I still have scraps. I still have scraps. Now, I learned that I don't want to get too close to the edge on this so I don't know this may be a kind of a dry pen but let's start let's start here and we're gonna do one I might get close to the edge to the top let's let's bring it down a little let's start with this top one Let's start over in here. And 
and we're just gonna cut I want to cut a stencil this one and one more And one more. And if I were doing this on a laptop using a software, this would all be symmetrical. But because I'm hand drawing it, it's not totally symmetrical. And I'm just going to put a, well, do I want to put a diamond? Let's do, let's do these. Let's just do three of them. This one has five of them for each, but five's too many for me to cut. And then they have their diamond in here, like that. Then they have here pieces going around and I think I'll bring this way down they have several but I'm only going to make two and the same thing over in here sort of like that and then they come down one more and they do a something like this and these come down and this is just going to be a paper stencil uh, cardstock seems to work okay but it after a while it gets worn and they got some other stuff going on in here but I'm gonna end mine with a loop like this I might have to bring it out a little more and up here and let's make a, let's end it here and here and make a, I'm not so good at cutting circles, but we're going to cut a circle there and bring this down here and here. Now I've pretty much as simplified that. They also have another one I might do where it's a, X mm, here and let's put a diamond in there and a a diamond whoops a diamond in there Might be a little wider. A diamond here. And a diamond in there. Now, I could just play with this a little. And let's do a sort of an oval diamond like that and a line around it um, it's gonna have to have a break break in it 
like that. And it needs to be on the Ignore that, it'll get cut out. And let's do the same thing. Let's just draw a line there. Make my oval here. And kind of a break. Alright, I'm liking that. So what am I going to do here? How am I going to just end these like this? Like that. And then I can, I can put some diamonds. See, this will come more on the... Ignore those lines. That's just guiding lines for me. In fact, when I use this, I'll probably flip it over so you don't see all these lines. There... And let's put a oval here and an oval here. All right, let's play with this and see what I get. Let's cut it out. I'm done with the book. Thank you, Becky, for this art deco book. I think Becky's taking a break. She's probably not in here this morning. Probably a good thing. She doesn't. She doesn't care for all the political chat and all that crap either. She says, let's just do art. I get off on it sometimes. I try to I try to be fair to all different viewpoints. But I guess the philosophy that was spoken to me when I was younger and what I really like is in your life and this is not religious or anything in your life set your boundaries of what you think set your boundaries of where you what your values are but build bridges have bridges to other thought processes or whatever you know but that doesn't mean that you have to conform to something you your where your values are opposite. You have your boundaries and your bridges. There we go. Oh, I'm liking this. Let's see if I can continue it. And if I was doing this on a, a die cutter, it would be nicer and neater. But sometimes doing it by hand is fun. And see all of this, if you flip it over, well, it's still got the black showing through. But yeah, we're going to see how this prints off. And I want to use a dark... A dark paint on it. I'm going to do it in my journal first. And get what I want. And when you cut a stencil like this. I simplified this design a lot. Like you saw me say. Oh I you know I didn't. I, I only put three instead of five. Uh. Try to keep your design, especially if you're a beginner, not too intricate unless you're an expert at this stuff. If you're an expert, go for all the detail. But if you're a beginner, try to keep your stencils simple shapes. Like these curves are pretty simple to cut. It isn't like I'm cutting a snowflake or anything. Or a face. Or anything too difficult. I have rectangles and 
I think the hardest thing for me to cut on this stencil will be my little circles. I'm not good at cutting circles. I'm not good at fussy cutting circles either. That's my challenge. And bless Arlene Hart. She sent me a whole package of 50... Utility Exacto Life Blades. And this is one of them, Arlene. I think I've only used one. I think this is still the first one, if I remember right. Of course, I may not remember. I had some on hand. But it will be a long time before I have to buy blades for my Exacto Knife here. I'm liking that. Pretty good. Just finished cutting it. And if you're a novice at this and still want to try cutting a stencil, try some bigger shapes. Try some big triangles. Try a heart, um, a square, a rectangle. Try something simple. And thank you, everybody, for the super chat this morning. Bless your heart. I sure do appreciate it. I think what we're going to do, I have to check with the powers that be on YouTube and see, and, and with Amazon. But what I think with my super chat money, when we get, when I finally reach 8,000 subscribers, <laughs> you know, it's taken me, what is this, March? The middle of March, and I don't think that I have added 20 subscribers to my channel. It's taken me, it's taking to, I used to get two or three subscribers a year. I mean a day. Yeah, two or three subscribers a year is about what happens now. Two or three subscribers a day, and YouTube has done something. I don't know. Maybe that's the growth parties. And I didn't do anything to other than, well, I'd go out to Facebook and Instagram and that and, and you know, normal stuff to announce your videos and stuff. But I would get two or three subscribers a day. And now I'm lucky if I get two subscribers a month. And I think YouTube has throttled that back somehow for the smaller channels. And I can understand, but it sure is discouraging. So, I got off on my YouTube vent again. Um, but what I'm saying is, I think it would be fun. I want to have a giveaway. A giveaway when I reach 8,000 subscribers. I was going to make it 10,000, but you might as well... <laughs> YouTube might not exist by the time I reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, so I'm going to make it 8,000. We're about 20. Um, it might be a little under 20 now. Subscribers away from 8,000. And that's about how it's been all year of 2021. But what I want to do is take that Super Chat money... And what I'd like to do is do a session where we go out to Amazon and go shopping. And I'm not sure I can do that live. I First of all, I have to check to see if it's legal with YouTube. I don't want to get in trouble. And I would think it would be okay with Amazon because we'd be spending money. But I need to make sure it's okay with Amazon too. And... Then what we'll do is we'll go shopping on Amazon and we'll 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 say, okay, we saw this Tim Holtz product out there. 
And that's, you know, and I'll go on Amazon and uh, then I'll, we'll run the contest and, and uh, we'll probably have to do this several times because speaking with Janet, who has really helped out with the modding and everything, she has said that when I have, when I run these contests where I have 12 different winners, it gets a little hard on the mods to choose all the winners. And so... I might just do three and three at a time, three in one night, something like that. So we might have a lot of contests once I reach, because I'm going to spend that money and I want to spend it on you guys. And the other way I want to spend it is we'll, we'll have a contest and I might pick out of a, I might let random org do this because I have a list of everybody who's contributed and even on PayPal too. If you sent me a PayPal, I know who you are, and you're on my list. Most of you who've sent me PayPal's have sent me Super Chats anyway, but you're on my list. And I want to have maybe a couple contests for just people who've sent me Super Chats, and we'll do a nicer gift from there. We'll do a, a nice one, because you got at least, at least $25. And the other ones, you know, may range all the way from five to ten dollars, um, depending on you know that may all change before I'm over with before I get to eight thousand subscribers. But that's what I'm thinking. And then I wanna I wanna send something to each one of the mods that I have. And I'm not gonna have a contest. I'm just going to find out maybe what they like. And I'll choose a mod, maybe a couple mods every every time I do it. And we'll go out to Amazon and we'll shop for them. And I'll put it in my cart, but I, I, I'll put it in my cart, but I probably won't order it online on stream. I'll order it after the stream is done. And then Amazon will send it to you. So that's what I'm thinking when I get ready to do the the 8,000 subscriber giveaways. So that way I, I cover everybody and I think I cover you all there. And the Super Chat people, that's where I'm getting the money to do this is from my Super Chat people. And I may do more than one contest because <laughs> there's more than one person that has said that has has given me Super Chat. So we may have several super chats but also several just fun live stream contests where if you're here and i'll let random org pick you we'll just do the random org thing and i think that'll be fun but i have to i have to make sure that i do it all within the guidelines of youtube and amazon I don't want to get in trouble. I've got enough trouble in my life. Ooh, I am loving that. Just as a fun little stencil. Now let's do this one. What time is it? I'll have a half an hour to play with this after I get it cut. So what have I done this morning? I worked in that junk journal. I made my junk journal and bound it. That took me a long time. And I chattered. We went off into a, a merry rabbit trail. I'm trying to chat more with you guys. But it's hard to do while you're doing art. While you're cutting stencils, it's hard to... Why you have a knife in your hand? It's hard to chat while you're cutting a stencil. So I'm I'm talking at you, not with you. So if you're saying anything to me while I'm arting, generally I'm not going to hear it. You'll have to repeat it when when I come out. And I'll usually say, "I'm coming out." I'm not coming out yet, though. I'm going to finish cutting this stencil. And 
And this one's going to be kind of hard to see because of all those lines. i cut it on the back here. I was trying to get it centered. So I have to take my phone in today, I'll tell you. <laughs> my phone is sure on its last leg. But I haven't wanted to go out in this rainy weather. Rainy and snowy, I like to stay in where it's nice and warm. Let's cut this one a little fatter if I can. And that'll get all painty anyway. Hello, hello. Let me flip the screen here. There we go. I got two people in here. Are y'all coming back? Are y'all coming back? Hi, Becky. How's your yard work going? There you coming back. I don't know what, how long I was down. I was chattering away, cutting my stencil out. I lost you. Let's see on my on my stream. I was cutting. Whoops, I was cutting in here someplace on my stream. So I stopped and drew this in. Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to sign off in, a, in a, about 20 minutes anyway, so. Hi, Lori B. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Nancy. Hudson Sailor. Suze is here. Aunt Beth came back. This is Gigi. Said, did we lose her? You did nothing yesterday. As you woke up with a headache and it started raining. Oh, no. Becky, I hope if you get the rain that we had, we've had rain for the last almost a week of rain. Almost a week of rain. That's why I haven't gone any place. I sympathize. I didn't have the headache, but we had the rain. Nancy's back in here. No, Nancy. I think Arlene probably probably took a break. I think she got tired of listening and went to bed. <laughs> Oh, Aunt Beck says I'd rather thrift shop with you. <gasps> Becky, scrolling back. That's a great idea, Becky. Rather than going to Amazon, going to the thrift store. We could do that, too. Oh, that's a fun thing. Oh, I love that. We might do that anyway. I may not wait till I get 8,000 subscribers. We may go to the thrift store and... Uh, We'll go shopping, and I'll pick up something, and then we'll have a giveaway. How does that sound? And I'll stop at the post office and get whatever I need to, <laughs> to send it off in. Oh, I love that idea, Becky. That's a great idea. Candy, you just enter the room if you have a mic or a camera. Oh, are you going to have a, are you going to do a video? Let's see, video, Becky says, let's, I'm scrolling up, Becky. She says, I'm going to do a video on how to finish the project bag today and tomorrow in craft and chat in Aunt Beck's creation. So she's going to do a Facebook video tomorrow on finishing the project bag at... 10 a.m. Eastern, so it's 9 tomorrow at 9 uh, Central, 10 a.m. Eastern on Becky's Facebook channel. She's going to do a live on finishing the project bag. And I'm cutting this stencil because I'm going to add dark blue to the back of, of my project bag here. I'm, I'm behind because I've had to go take care of life. But... This is the top of mine, and I want some dark blue deco art stuff on here. So we're going to leave this on, but we're going to do some deco art. And I may even put some dark blue flowers before I get done. And I still need to paint on my lion here. But I am going to stitch this. I'm going to be watching, Becky. I'll be around tomorrow. 
because I'm going out today. All right, let's go back down to the bottom. I might, I missed some chat up there. I'll have to go review it. Nancy said, can I find the Facebook chat by going to Aunt Beck's page? Yes, on Facebook. You go to her group. You go to her group on Facebook. Aunt Beck, if you want to leave a link to your Facebook group, uh, if you can do that, that would that may be. Uh, I think a lot of us are members anyway, but um, it's not a chat. It's a room. Okay, it's a room. Okay, well then you have to go. You have to go to her group, and she'll. It'll be. You'll see. Um, I I called it a chat. I misnamed it, Becky. You'll see on her group directions to get there. But if you want to leave a link to your group, I don't know if you're accepting new members or not. I'll let Beck take over on that stuff. I I tend to mislead you guys out of my ignorance. I'll finish cutting my stencil here. Welcome, Becky. I'm glad you popped in. I, I don't know. Have you looked at your forecast? I'm wondering if all of our rain found you guys down in South Carolina because we've had we've had about a week of rain here. Today's supposed to be sunny. It's supposed to be a sunny day today. So after I get done, I think I probably will stream tomorrow morning, but after I get done, I'll hop over to Becky's page. She's going to finish her. She put a link to her group. It's a private group, but I can invite folks to be members. There you go. And she put a link to her Facebook page. Nancy says she's in a member. She just didn't know how to find the chat. If we are friends on Facebook, I can invite you to join my little group. Send me a, a private message on Facebook, and she gives the name, and then she drops a link. Very cool, Becky. I'm glad you joined us, and I apologize for losing my connection. Maybe it lost it at a good time where I was off on a tangent. <laughs> I'm just about done here. I just got the, I got a circle and then these closures. Let's see if I can, I'm not always good with these circles. They'll be looking like big dots rather than perfect concentric circles. I love the idea of going to the thrift store and buying some stuff and giving it away. Have, having you guys say, Mary, buy that, buy that. Maybe we'll go to that one antique store that where they know me. They know me. <laughs> I asked permission to do videos. And I went in there one day, oh, just a few weeks ago. Well, maybe a couple months ago. And the guy recognized me and said, you're the lady that does the videos. And I had to think a minute of what he, well, I kind of knew what he meant, but I had to think. And I think it'll be fun to go do that. Maybe on a Tuesday. Of course, they weren't open until 10. They aren't open until... Yeah, I'll have to find a good time to go where I can still stream live. Maybe on a Saturday afternoon. Of course, 
people are there on Saturdays, so kind of crowded. A weekday works best. I might have to pick a day and announce it, so let's see. I want this one to go this way. This way, yeah. No, this way. Whoops. And this is just kind of hand-drawn, hand-cut stencil. And I'll stencil it in my book. I don't think I'll have enough time to stencil it out on my bag. Then I'm just taking my time with those bags. I'm learning as I go. It'd be fun to go to an online auction and do that too, but the problem with the online auctions is I have such bad lag time. I'd want to get something for somebody and I, <laughs> we'd lose it. All right, let's try this out in my journal. Let's try it in my journal here. I finally found my March journal. Let's get out, uh, get out the journal. I have enough time. And rather than do it with paint, I might do it with ink. Just be less messy. We got Arlene's stuff in here now. Arlene's Happy Mail. I did that the other day. And this is from Janet Nash and Sharon Lombard. And I do have some journaling done in here, believe it or not. And this is my bunny rabbit. So let's go back here. We have flatter, a flat page to work on. And let's, well, I think I'll do it here because I want it right in there. And well, shall we do it in black? I can, I can uh, re-ink my black because I've got black re-inkers. Let's do it in black. And I need a sponge. I don't know if I have a clean one out here. Let's get a clean sponge. I'll be getting off here in a few minutes. Thursday. I don't know if Dee Dee's going to come on. Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I get mixed up on my Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you might watch for Dee Dee. Janet was going to see if she could talk Dee Dee into doing a drawing session, but I don't know if they're planning that for today or not. And this is just going to be kind of light for right now. It's not going to be. With I was doing it with paint, it would get darker. It would be a dark blue. It's what I'm going for. It's a dark blue paint. And the advantage to doing this as a stencil is I can do duplicate. I can do it across my page. And the advantage of using ink is that it won't drip underneath of my stencil. It might get a little off. But I don't think I'll use ink on my... I don't know. Jamie used to come on on a Tuesday or a Thursday, but she's been having... When they had that freeze down there in oh, Texas, it attacked her water pipes. And she did a video showing 
everything that needed to be repaired and how all of her studio was all packed up. And I go, oh my goodness. We had cold weather, but for some reason, well, our furnace, it, my brother keeps our furnace at 74 and our furnace is down there in the basement. So, all right, let's see what I have. Oh, yay. I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see. I'm lagging here on my stream. I'm loving it. I think this will be a good stencil. Let's do the other one. Let's so I put it try to put it in between. Shall we do two and try to put this one in between? Let's do another one over here. It's pretty close to the edge here, but I want to fit this other one in. I think I have enough time to do this. And I can re-ink this. I don't really like using sponges to ink with, uh, especially a larger stencil, because I get all that ink on my sponge, and there it is. I'd rather use paint. But with the black, I can re-ink my pad, because I got black re-inker. And also, it doesn't give me that really dark, dark... Well, if I go over it 10 million times, it might. But I feel like I get a lot on here that is just waste. If I have a smaller stencil, it might be okay. But God forbid you waste any ink. That would be a crime, a crime, a crime, a crime. And this will probably be all I get done because I'm going to sign off at nine. I got about eight minutes here. But I feel like I got some art done today. I'll probably take a nap before I go. I don't like to be sleepy while I'm driving. So I probably won't get out of here until about noon. I could take a little half hour nap, 15 minutes. My brother turns the TV on. If I'm really tired, I sleep right through that yow yow and they do on prices right, all that yelling they do. If I'm tired, I don't hear that he had it on the other morning and boy, I I heard it turn on and I, I woke up and it was over with. Oh, I'm loving this. So let's do this one in the center as much as I can. Let's see, it ends there. So I pull it over a little. I can pull it over a little more. I think right in here will be enough. Yeah. Now, how I do it on the bag, I might choose something else on the bag too. We're gonna play with some stencils. cut some more stencils. Maybe I'll cut some more stencils tomorrow morning. Cut some Art Nouveau stencils. And I can also use these in my Art Nouveau journal. Alrighty. Get a little more ink on this. All right, let's see what I have. Oh, it could have come down a little, but I like it. I like it. I'll have to figure out how to center this one in between these two. I'll have to make marks of where I want it to go. But I'm liking that. Let's close up my ink here. I'm liking it. I chattered a lot this morning. I got off on a rabbit trail. All right. And what I like to do with these 
sponges, even with my paint sponges, is if I still have stuff on it, I'll go in and maybe do the edges or, you know, like I am now. I'll just play with what I can get off of it. And sometimes I get a lot, sometimes I don't. And just go in and... That's crime to lose, to waste any ink. That's a crime, a crime, a crime. That's pretty good. There we go. Yeah. So we did this. We cut the stencil. Um, what else did I do? I chattered. And I sorted out all these papers and made this junk journal. Let's pull this over this way. I made this junk journal this morning. This is a tie from a, from the master board left over. A tie. I might as well not iron that one, but I did. And what I really like about this is after I got this bound, I had those threads, those just those pamphlet stitches, and I tied a strip of this gold tie that I cut up here. Well, actually, I was going to make a deal but it broke off but it's it's still tied up there and then I just wrapped that thread with this tie and I love that effect I'm going to do more of that I love how that turned out I love that and then I just tied my tie in the center I made a tassel and a then a little tassel up on top because I didn't want to waste my thread. This thread was down here when I cut off down there. Put it up there. And the other thing I did in here, I've still got a few minutes. The other thing I did in here, this cover came from Arlene. And I love the paper on this now because that gives it some, that gives it some turnability there. Is I had this paintbrush holder. This had paintbrushes in them from a package of paintbrushes. And this one happened to be pretty thick. This one happened, this might have been in a scrapbook thing. I'm not sure where I got it. But it was opening up here, so I just did some running stitches here. And I'm going to tie a couple little charms on the running stitches. And then I put ink pins in there. So this is going to be a front porch journal. So when I, the only thing I want to do to this is uh, put a dashboard in here. And I'll just cut a piece of cardboard or acrylic or something strong so when I write you know when you write although this isn't too bad I could but it's still I would probably put my dashboard in here so and I use scraps I had all these scraps so I got another stack over to my right but I pulled scraps out of the I took a pat a pile of papers the other day I had a big old pile and I took them and put them on the floor well, yesterday I cleaned off my floor so I could walk around in my room. And these were the scraps from that pile of papers. And this is what I have. An ace bag, an order form, blank paper, Arlene's packing paper, a calendar. And I love this little contents page. I'm just flipping through this again real fast. The ace paper sack, a mailing envelope that has a flap. I'm going to have to put washi tape on, on it. Excuse me. This will make a really fun front porch journal because there's plenty of room to write and sketch in here. So more in the back. And then I got another holder here that I might put some colored pins. I got to clean this acrylic off. It's got a little yuck on here on the back little paint spot but maybe put some water brushes in there and then this is the back I'm really loving how this turned out for a bunch of scraps this, this morning this was a bunch of paper scraps that could have gone in the waste basket now it's a journal that I can use when I go out on the front porch later in the year so there we go that's my morning besides my my morning yakking. Let's put this over here like so. So I'm going to come out and say goodbye. Let's get my, let's say goodbye to everybody. Thank you. I, 
Hi, Tamari. Bit good. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, and welcome. Welcome to our, welcome to my desk. <laughs> Lori says, we could split. Are you on Instagram? Let's see, Aunt Beck. I was given some. I don't know what it was. I probably won't use it. I do have pink. I can send it to you. All right. They're working out something. Nancy is Hudson Sailor. She says, if you paint clear gesso on your stencil, it will last longer. We will do that tomorrow, Nancy. Remind me if you're in here tomorrow to paint clear gesso. I do have clear gesso. Or even paint. Even, uh, well, this is my page. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll, I'll paint some clear gesso on this tomorrow. Because I do like that stencil. Good idea, Nancy. Thank you. Aunt Beck. What color minky are you looking for? <laughs> I think she means pinky. Pink. She turned out minky. Thank you, Val. Oh, the minky fabric, fabric, not the quilt. I don't know what you mean, minky fabric. It must be something Becky's doing. Yeah, Laura, Aunt Beck said that huge storm was headed your way. And I think it's also supposed to drop snow. There you go, Jersey. Weather forecast. Jersey said she's running errands. She stopped to get a snack, so she stopped in to say hi. Jersey was in here earlier this morning. Thank you, Jersey. Yeah, let's go thrifty. Becky sent out some invites to members for the tomorrow. She's going to finish up the project bag at 10 a.m. Eastern on her Facebook group. And she says it's a room and not a chat. It's a room. She's not doing a live stream. She's going to a room. And I think when we go into a room, and I don't, I've never been in one of your Facebook rooms, Be Becky, so this is new to me. I think when you go in there, it's like you're going to a Zoom. We can see each other. You can see each other in the room, and uh, she does not record it, if I understand right. But you can verify all that with Becky. So there you go. I'm back to hold where I went down. So it's two after nine. Somebody, let's see, is anybody on that yet that I know? Let's see what my notifications say. Five minute craft, Moss, Chris Shawcraft. I don't see anybody on yet. Oh, Mrs. Gigi sent in her. If you're listening, Gigi, I have your video. Um. I thought I got one from her, but then I've been transferring files off of my old phone. It's still out there somewhere in the email. But when I transferred that file over to the phone, and I should always check, but I didn't check the other day when I did it. I still have it in my email, so it's out there someplace in my email. But uh, uh, it, for some reason, it didn't like the file type when I tried to open it last night. So I need to check with everybody and make sure I have all their videos for, for our Saturday hop. So have a great day, everybody. I am absolutely going out today. I've been putting it off all week. So uh, I probably won't go. I probably will not go. Although... Let me see. Do you guys know if Tanya and Lisa are going to be on this afternoon? If Tanya and Lisa are not on this afternoon, I might do a live stream from the thrift store this afternoon. But it, it will depend. So <laughs> if they go on usually at 2 o'clock Central on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I don't want to take their time if they're going on. I know Tanya's traveling. I know you don't Zoom, Nancy, but if you go to Aunt Beck's room, um, it's similar to a Zoom session. So you don't have to have Zoom to go there. Maybe she's just saying she doesn't know what Zoom is because she doesn't Zoom. But it's a little, it's a little room where we just see each other. It's like a video chat. Bye, Candy. I hope that you're feeling better. She said she was up till, was it you, Beck, uh, Candy, who said you were up till five? 
I thought Lisa said she was going to be on Thursday today, Lori said. Okay, if Lisa's on, I will not be on. Uh, I'm not going to come on while somebody I know is regularly streaming. So, um, and Lisa and Tanya usually stream on Thursday. So if Lisa's on, I'll just find a, a day when they're not on. When somebody's, probably a Saturday afternoon, I'm thinking. Might be, or a Sunday afternoon. Well, Sunday Tanya's on. But if Tanya isn't on Sunday, but she may already be at Lisa's, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll look for a time. Mondays are good, too. Monday afternoons are good for me. And that store is open on Monday. So we'll find a good time to go thrifting. And I'm going to take you guys with us. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And I probably will stream tomorrow morning for a little while anyway. Bye.